Hello, oh, welcome back to bottom. My name is Beast, and I'm fucking sleep deprived. And uh, also, we're back with the cast, you know, go I I don't know how long I'll be recording for today since I barely fucking slept, and I'm gonna have to wake up early tomorrow to mow the massive fucking lawn, piece of lawn that we, I thought we agreed we wouldn't mow anymore. Just let it be, since it's up on a part of the fucking property where no one ever fucking goes. And the terrain is extremely fucking... And this is an extreme piece of shit to mow. So we just... I thought we decided to just leave it. But no, it turns out we're gonna mow it like twice a year now all of a sudden. Which doesn't make a lot, whole lot of sense. But I fucking guess... It's not like I'm gonna have to be the one to fucking lug the goddamn lawnmower up there. <sighs> so yeah, that's gonna be enough. Anyway. Yeah, oopsie today, and mainly because uh, I did not plan to eat this entire fucking thing of ice cream, but alas, I fucking did. And, uh. Yeah. My stomach feels like I just ate that entire thing of ice. So that's also gonna be interesting. Anyways, I around. You know, I was going. Seeing that Sun isn't around Aya, for once I decided to go and talk with her for a bit. I want to have a better chance than this one. It's beside her where Sun would normally be if he was here. I'll actually check and see where he is. Looks like he has his hands full talking to Rain around now. She sounds sad, but instead of looking like it, looking like it, she's forcing a smile around now. Can't imagine your own bodyguard rocking a stiffy over, over another client feels all that great. I don't remember that our client is a single individual and should be our priority, but maybe Aya doesn't care too much about it since in the end she's probably dealt with tons of bodyguards at this point. Ooh, son. Nah, believe me, son's pretty con content about you being his client. I bet he'd still give his left nut if he had a chance to become Raiko's bodyguards, but, but still. You still look pretty miserable. Is something wrong or what? You know, I don't blame you for being like that, if I'm being real with you. Real life. It's like she's going to burst into tears any moment now. Well, you know how the saying goes, it can only get better from now on if that's the case. You think she makes things more merry? Nah, I bet that's not even on her mind whenever she's around people. Rake is someone that only does whatever the fuck she feels like doing without caring for anyone else's opinion. Everyone has everything, everyone has something, a skill or something else. That they can do better than the rest. Did you rain for a second? You've got some big deals of your own. If you catch my drift. Basically, everyone has unique features to themselves. Hair, body type, color of the skin, muscle mass. But you see everyone is... Uh, what you say, everyone is similar with these. Right? That's just speaking about physical features, but if we delve into individual personalities, then things become even more complex than before. Vreka has a natural preposition to liven things up around her, then the other side you have is... Uh, then on the other side, you have something that Vreka would only dream of having. Gift of physique, a natural pre preposition to words, and great looks all around. Unfortunately, whether you agree with me or not, you're not the one who decides if I'm right or wrong. I bet Reiko would agree with me. If I had to speak about your weak points, your lack of self-confidence comes to mind first. Why? Nah, I'm the one who's stumped trying to figure you out. In any case, what I want to say is that everyone has good and bad things about them, no exceptions. 
really want to end this topic, so I'll try to force a close to it. Kaito san wa o nee sama no bodyguard ni narete, yahari ureshikatta desu ka? Hell no. Zenzen desu ka? It kind of felt like buying a scratch off from a stall and losing. Even though those kinds of scratch offs are the ones where you're supposedly guaranteed to win something. You don't know what they are? She's read tales about them. What I'm trying to say here is that you shouldn't hate yourself for being a downer. You're not gonna listen to me, are you? Okay, then pay attention. I'm gonna teach you a way to become the heart of the party in an instant. But of course. Come on, butts riffs, woman. You just gotta do this, no complaints, got it? Uh, uh, there we go. Take a certain thing from the table and show it to her. Okay. Okay, here's the drill. You gotta stick this cucumber into one of your nostrils. <laughs> To send your action, but maybe one is enough. You have two nostrils after all. Do you want to be more like Reika? Can't use the same methods Reika uses if you wish to be like her in, her own, in your own way. Gotta love the party in your own terms, come on. Yeah, you must do this. I get to it. She then takes cucumber, her hands trembling. I don't think this will help her at all. It'd be pretty outrageous if someone like her stuck that into her nest. I'm not gonna stop her though. The producers of this game don't wanna show the scene, they can just censor it like the other dirty scenes. But then again, fuck mosaic censorship. I'd never allow for that to happen. I'll become a gold digger yet, Aya. A uh, woman with the talent to inject spirit and energy into any party made a bullshit, aka. Okay. As of now, however, you are naught but a coal digger. Made a bullshit, again. <laughs> good, good, a little more and it'll be fully in. Just a little more and you'll become the gold digger we all know you can be. Someone stop this man! <laughs> Come on, metal gold digger, put it in. What are you doing? Suki slams his frying pan against me. What I'm just trying to turn her into a gold digger. So I'm trying to turn her into a gold digger. I'm trying to turn her into a gold digger. I'm trying to turn her into a gold digger. I'm trying to turn her into a gold digger. What's the actual meaning then? Now ah, you made me bite my tongue! I'm trying to tell you about it later. I pass. Tonikaku, so you manewa oyamekudasai. Kaito-san. She's the boss, don't do it. She then returns the cucumber to where it was with a sigh of relief. She definitely would have been the heart of the party like she wished for, though. Hey, chill out the pan, yo. Nara, mo ni do to konna koto wa shinai to yakusoku suru ka? Okay, I promise! I mean, what other choices do I have? <laughs> Looks like she won't hit me with the thing again. Hmm? Ah, there's no need for you to do the cucumber thing anymore, so worry. <gasps> worry not! <laughs> I shouldn't have called her a gold digger. For some goddamn reason, Tsuki brushed me with her f frying pan after Aya's question. Life's unpredictable. Sometimes, by the most unexpected chances, you get to know someone and develop a close relationship with them. But the opposite can happen as well. Just look at me and Reika, for example. Ever since we met by chance because of her kidnapping, we haven't had any many opportunities to get to know each other very much. The only times I get to interact with her are when we commute to and from Reno, as well as inside the Academy grounds. That's pretty much it. Well, maybe not getting to know her is for the best. 
repaired the, re the rear if I ended up developing unwanted feelings because of it. Some that Kaoru, Yuki, and many other people have already warned me about in the past. And I'm not that I'm gonna stay here for the rest of my life anyway. First things first, I'll get dressed. I get the hands on my suit and put it on. I'd rather wear civilian clothing, but uh, we're banned from doing that. It's a way to keep us in work mood at all times, I suppose. That 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 has got to be suffocating, though. Let me just check, just to be sure. I are out too. Okay, good. After having breakfast, I think about how I should spend the day, the rest of the day. I think Sung's bunked in his room reading. Something I wouldn't mind doing myself as well, but it's been a long time since I've had something new to read. Oh, but if I could probably stay inside at the house for the rest of the day, I could ask her nicely. Maybe she'd let me go out. I don't know if she'll even agree to it, but a man's gotta try. What? Well, never mind. I'll just stay in my room too. Fuck it. As I make my way to my room, I have to spot Aya. She's heading in my direction, accompanied by someone I'd rather avoid at all costs. I'll try to play it cool and pretend like I'm not seeing them. Hopefully they ignore my ass. Never mind, Suki just turn around. Unlucky. Does she have eyes on her back or something? Stalker? Kaito, not a stalker for crying out loud. Sup? Atsuki didn't notice you were here until now. Thanks, but no thanks. I think this is the first time I've ever been here that I've seen those two three being together. It's kind of weird to be honest. <sighs> well, they were able to tell what I was thinking without me saying anything impressive. Like a walk without actually going outside. I said outside that did me like that, you know. I'd actually laugh, but your script is so badly written that you're turning into a whole circus at this point. <laughs> Pretty much some details are intentionally twisted, though. I never outright call them retards, come on. But どこかの回答って人間が、あやお嬢様の部屋に不法侵入しかねないから、出かけるに出かけられないとおっしゃっています。あ、as it happens, I have nothing to do right now as well. Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? I meant what I said. I was born in Japan, you dork. Refugee? You're kidding, right? Ah. あ、お嬢様を命がけで敬語するから、お外に出ないかと。ま、カイトさんが。で、アクシュメントフォーサニアとアニアノアイアとリターンバックとアワームシーターンアラウンドとルックアメ。わ。ついてきて。わい。そう
that's the weather we're having today. Blue sky, not many clouds on the side, sun blazing. Yep, definitely a good day. I have been told that the city sky looks dirty, but all I see is blue. Maybe whoever told me had only seen the sky from a small village or um, Step, 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 step. Hmm. About 20 minutes have passed since I've been out here for waiting. Then suddenly hear the sound of people running towards me, the ones doing so being Tsuki and Aya. I need to apologize or anything, but wait a second. Tell me she's actually tagging along as well. Why are you here too? Speaking of our son, he should be the one supervising me. What? あ、オッケー。車を回してもらった方がいいでしょうか。あるいはすみ、ワトユワンタドゥ。え、と、できれば歩きたいな。だ、レッツジャスト Again, why are you coming too? And with your maid out, no less. You want to catch everyone's attention or something. Maid or this girl? Uh, right. Guess you got me there. やっぱりお日様の下を歩くのは気持ちいいですね。It feels odd interacting with Tsuki now. Since the implication was clearly that she had started to fall for Kaito when she saw him first, which is why, for some reason, the pho the, the trauma didn't fucking trigger. Like, in every round, she's just standing there like, ah, yes. Let me laugh at you. And I was laughing at me, considering that I fucking fell for this idiot. Anyway.暑苦しい男さえいなければ完璧ですけど。you're the one who's spitting your disgusting saliva all around the place. Remember that old lady at the candy store we passed through some minutes ago? You're spitting all, all over her things was what made her cry. <laughs> so, why'd you set this up, by the way? No need to lie, there had to be a reason behind you setting this whole thing up. The uh, whole thing about us three going out. Uso? Don't play dumb. May not be the smartest guy, but you're not deceiving anyone here. I'm still a bodyguard, I know what's up. If I remember correctly, you said Sun claimed that he'd leave Aya's protection to me, yeah? So. A bodyguard would never entrust the protection of his client to any anyone else. If his son was very ill, I'd understand this exceptional situation. And even then. Son would have never allowed me to protect her under any circumstances, even if it was the last thing he'd be able to do. <laughs> this is no laughing matter. What did Son really tell you? <laughs> so you just allowed I to go out without even telling him? I can't believe this. You think she, I'm stupid or what? You know perfectly well that that's not how things work. He, I know you're the head of the maids or whatever, but let me warn you, this isn't going to end well for you. And she won't get fired, but Son will never forgive us for this. Nobody hates us, but this will definitely fuel the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Little bitch! You want me to, to, to you, you really want me to just suffer, huh? The fact that you're telling me this with a straight face is what makes you scary. 
I should have brought everyone back to the mansion, but I'm, but I never ended up doing that. Maybe if I did, Sun wouldn't have noticed anything. Aya seemed like she was having the time of her life outside, though. Also understood that even though her plan was awake, Itsuki devised all of this for Aya's sake, so I ended up going along with it. Oh well, as long as she's having fun. You'd be lucky if we and some, somehow doesn't find out the truth of what happened. I'll think of some excuses in case he does find out. <laughs> yep, the moment we returned, he found us out. I was going to tell him that we were just playing hide and seek the whole day around the mansion, but it seems like that excuse won't work now. Suki, Kaito, Omaera, do you tsumori da? He shouts as he rushes towards Aya to check on her condition. I'm surprised to see that he called Suki by her name for once, but he's probably so desperate and angry that he wasn't even hasn't even realized it. Kizu no hitotsu mo owashite nai daro na. Daijoubu desu yo, Miyagawa sama. Watashi wa nan tomo arimasen. Chill. Boku o soba ni okanai de gaishitsu. Dare ga kyoka shita? Watashi ga gosetsumei shimasu. Suki says while stepping forward and bowing her head. Here she goes. I'm in for the sermon of my life. If I remember correctly, she said she would basically in incriminate me for everything in the tap, claiming that I forced both her and Aya to go outside with me. Yeah, she's not actually gonna do that. Wait, what? I thought she was going to pin the crime to me. What just happened? I wasn't scared of whatever would happen to me. I should have looked her, at her eyes more closely. She never intended to lie in the first place. Sun doesn't sound too happy. Then slaps her in the face. Normally a guy wouldn't hit a girl, but we're bodyguards before anything else. And for us, protecting our clients is our one and only duty. Whoever may try and harm our clients becomes our enemy, so no, no matter who they may be. Did you really just... Tried to place my arm between Sun and Tsuki so she wouldn't take the blow, but Tsuki just brushed my arm and allowed him to slap her in the face. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Let's go. あやお嬢様。けれど。そんな目度に構ける必要はありませんので。月。ご報告せず連れして申し訳ありませんでした。Sun then grabs Aya's wrist and drags her away. Again, something a bodyguard shouldn't be fucking doing. Sun is literally being the worst possible bodyguard. About like he continues to say like a bodyguard shouldn't interfere with his client's daily life. But he... But he has a fucking issue with her doing literally anything. Actively does shit like this. He's literally... Breaking the most basic rule. What? Huh? We're well, doing things is horrible. What do you mean? You perfectly know what I mean. I wanted her to go out so she could have some fun for once, I get it. I understand where you're coming from, but your way to go about it was just plain... was just pa badly planned. So. Next time you gotta plan these things ahead so everything turns out well. She may have had her fun outside, but I bet I is having a very hard time right now. Because she knows that you lied so she could be able to go out. Rego would probably take it differently, but I as a gentle soul, you know how she'd react to that. You really believe that she won't have a hard time seeing you suffer whenever Sun reports what happens? What happened? <laughs> mean that if Sun was with us, she wouldn't have had any fun? I'll interpret her silence as a yes. If we didn't want him to find out, there would have been a million ways to go about this, by the way. Like, for example, we could have snuck into the mansion through a window instead of just returning through the main entrance. Maybe through the kitchen's back entrance. Ain't gonna be a laughing matter if this ends up with you getting fired. Someone's a little bit mad. Yeah, sure, she's mad as fuck right now. Quick look at her face tells me everything I need to know. Tried to help her before she wouldn't get slapped, and she denied me even that. I wish I knew what's on her mind. Yeah, I better relax before the storm comes. 
wonder how deep and shit she how, how deep shit she's in right now. And may, she may have been the main artificer of what happened, but the one who initially proposed the idea of going out was me, can't forget that. Should cover for her in some way. She might be cheeky with me, but she's a pushover when she's around others, so if I don't step in and do something, she might actually get fired. I oh, didn't know you were in the middle of a wank alpes off. So, <laughs> I'll go in then since you're not actually wanking or anything. <laughs> Here I come. Hmm, place reeks a little bit of cummies. Ksakunai? No need to be so angry with me, Sunny. Oh, come on, you'd rather have me calling you Sun and that's it? The way you would read his name is actually Takanori, but the first symbol of his name can be in interpreted as Sun as well. That's why I call him that, because he's easier than Takanori. I thought I'd be cheeky calling him a Sunny just for the funsies. Oh well. A Sunny just sounds so cool though. No, I was? Son to use your taka to yome nakatodoro. If I'm being real with you here, I thought you were called Son Toku when I first read your name. Muzukashi yomi kata da to omo ga. Son Toku nante namae wa fushizen janai ka. Maybe, maybe not. Te. Son na hanashi o shini kita no ka? Can't be that bad to crack a cold one with your buddy and talk about the old times once in a while. Boku a nare au no wa kirai da. Oh, come on, you're making me look like a heartless monster. I was about to place my hand on his shoulder, but he avoided me. I always pretend like I don't care when he does that to me, but it actually hurts a little bit when he does. You could say that. It getting so mad for such a trivial thing. It was just bad to do, chill, come on. I do think that it wasn't something that should be taken lightly. Oh no, I don't think I will. I have to be very careful here. If I don't choose my words, well, I'll only end up provoking him. If I don't choose my, choose my words well, I'll only end up provoking him. Listen, I don't think it'd be the best idea to disclose to anyone what happened that day. Because I told you that it wouldn't be a good idea. Can you let me finish? Did you talk things out with Aya about her version of the story? I bet you asked her, assuming that Tsuki was the one who plotted this whole thing. But Aya denied the claim. I wonder what Tsuki said back there wasn't the truth after all. What if I told her that I was the one who made them go outside with me? Or if the maid was covering for what I did. You know what kind of person I am. <laughs> I'll allow him to hit me just once if he wants, but I will punch him back three times if he does decide to do that to me. I don't think I'm going to I have dirt on her. That's why she lied. If Tsuki finds out that I'm lying for her right now, she'll kill me. Stubborn iron way. She's gonna say that I have dirt on her if, you put, if she's pushed against the wall. And that could end up in me getting fired, not her. I thought that you'd be open to let this one go, given that we've been classmates and closest of friends for over a year now. I'm not going to be open to let this one go, given you have to be so good at his job. So fucking serious all the time. I really want to punch him in the face right now. What can I do for this to not go through? What I do for this to not go through? Okay, dude, I get it. Can't you just let the slide, let it slide now?
I, that, I don't think that's the way you should be talking to me right now. He's just like, okay. It just like turns the intimidation up to a hundred. Like, do not fucking talk about this. <laughs> Why would you rather me have me go on my knees and implore you? Anyways, it wasn't gonna be easy, but man, I feel like I'm fighting a lost cause here. Maybe you're like Kisama. Do you like that maid? Kisama! The suit is stupid! Sorry, dude. What is that? That was just too funny. Nah, actually, no. But whatever floats is about. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's funny, but for some reason he chuckles. So to nariba, skoshi hanashi wa kawaruzo. Why? I was about to die, to die his claim, but I'll listen to what he has to say first. Boku wa, kisama ga itsuka chimayotte, reika ojo sama ni teo dasu to omotte ita. I never do that. Shikashi meido ga suki na no nara, sono shinpai mo naku naru to yu mono. Ma chigatte mo meido to no koiji de, boku ni hinoko ga furi kagatte kuru koto wa nasa so da. Somehow he managed to spin thing, this and make it about his career prospects. Much appreciated. Ah, I mean, oh yeah. All these things like that would rather not have him retract what he said. What do you mean? Yeah, she's definitely special, right? There's just something about her that clicks wrong. It's kind of scary in a way. So that's why you avoid her. I don't starting to creep me out. Does she provoke some kind of fetish of yours? Let's put it out and stop beating around the bush. Self-diagnosed skill, but go on. Arunda. Dude, just admit you just wanted to brag about a made-up skill of yours. So she ano made wa hinse no kakera mo niyowanai. Yeah, he wouldn't know that she actually is very ballsy and rude, considering she's nothing but serious around him. I think she only acts that rude manner in that rude manner when I'm present and with no one else. Kantan ni eba kisama to onaji niyoi ga suru. Like me, how? Motto mo. I think this is the first time I've heard Sun say that I'm capable at my job with a serious look on his face. Eimin no umare ka, hinmin no umare ka. Boku wa hin no nai ningen wa ningen to mitome nai. He never changed. There's lots of people who think like he does in this day and age. They think that just because someone is lower on their social pyramid that they're inferior and not worthy of being called human. It's just like when they treat people at the primitive zone as subhumans worse than animals. とにかくそういうわけだ。僕としてはメイドも貴様も嫌いだが、大きく影響を及ぼす貴様がおとなしくなるというなら、今回はこのまま見逃そう。ああ、that's <laughs> I don't want to take the responsibilities of taking care of your deadbeat classmate from you. Looks like shit won't hit the fan, which is nice. I'll keep what you told me in my mind. What happened the day again? Just kidding. メイドとデートするために綾尾嬢様を利用したなんて報告するに報告できん呆れて物も言えないそもそもだな。He definitely knew what I want, what, uh, knew what to say, saying that he went on a rant for a while after he let me go. The thing to see that nothing will happen in the end. I wasn't planning to cover for her on this one because I like her. I wasn't doing it because I was the one who caused all of this mess in the first place, but I shouldn't be looking at the gift horse in the mouth anyway. All's well that ends well. Oh. 
What in the world is that weird shit you're doing? I say as I try to Yakuza kick Satake in the back. Too bad he evaded it before it connected. Oh, I got Great, well, Jutsus or whatever. ことは、こうして毎日学んだものだ。And Pass, I already have enough stuff on my plate. I then sit on a nearby bench and watch Satake as he keeps doing his dance moves. Each move he does has a meaning behind it and it's designed to not waste a single ounce of energy. Some of the moves he's doing, I've seen them somewhere before. Wait a second, these moves you're pulling off. Uh, kinda, pretty impressed that you can read my thoughts so well. たった一人、スポンジが水を吸収するかの勢いで古物を磨き上げ、市販台と互角に戦う生徒がいた。もちろん私はその男に一度も勝つことはできなかった。だめ、やっとビアリルグ、やっとビアリルグだ。全くだ
。何を考えてるか知らないが、断じて違うぞ If you had such a good mind, r e then I'd appreciate it if you told me what I was thinking just now, then. それはだな。言えるか What's the point of having those lying around, though? 警察官が所持してる手錠は鉄製のものだ。しかし、okay. 我が家では、超高合金を用いた手錠を所持している。Your family uses them? Alright, his family was all made of bodyguards or something like that. The legal reform ha- that happened in Japan some time ago not only allowed the possession of small weapons, but also the、uh, possibility of you to carry handcuffs, batons, and other weapons around. If you're planning to rape some of these, I'd advise you against them. That's why I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Oh, you foolish raker. <laughs> if you only knew that, you have my, that I have my secret weapon. Like, come on, dude. If that doesn't sound like what a rapist would say, I don't know anymore. Tejo is a kite and it's a kite. He says as he slams the table and stands up. <laughs> like, Kaito just sits, stand, sits there like. <laughs> Everyone in the room is looking at me right now, but they quickly return to their own business the moment I look back. <laughs> uh, sorry, but I'm not into that sort of roleplay. Don't you worry, I'll keep your homosexuality a secret until my dying day. I mean, you did. React! You did react! You, you have no excuse, Takanori! You're already a one time. You're already a fucking one time perpetrator. Of... That sounds kind of terrible mentioning it, like, wording it like that. You're stuttering, not making eye contact, and fidgeting so much that I'm finding it hard to believe that you're not. ダメだ僕よ。<笑> Starts to take deep breaths, but those quickly transform themselves into ragged ones not very long after. <laughs> you sound cringy whenever you call yourself perfect, you know that? And what's setback? A small PV? <laughs> Sheesh, no need to be so defensive about it. <laughs> God, I'm looking so forward to just absolutely destroying this man. Like, he does improve in the other routes sometimes, at least. Like, with Tsuki's, where he actually becomes kinda nice. But I still wanted to absolutely destroy him. Damn, poor him. I think I'm at the brink of this. You could always get a cart, cart,、uh, carton box, set it up outside the mansion, and live there while I stay here. It's always good to challenge yourself in new situations. I'm going to be a little bit of a We stumble across both I and Reka. The two of them are wearing their uniforms, ready to go to school. Hi there. Yeah. Everyone in here knows that Sun and I don't get along particularly well. It's more of a one sided thing, really. I don't dislike him or anything. Apparently, Sun's words, not mine. We just have this horrible chemistry going on. Oi, Kisama! I sure. Oh, Kini, not so long, I think. Kaito no Yukoto, a shitty metzletz, is there a cotton of hot on the sun? Never knew we suddenly became the best of friends and teammates. Sayakuni, Kimatteru, though! 
He says while well, suddenly blocking his mouth with his right hand. What a child. <laughs> Don't get me started on a secret weapon that he's got in his room. A fucking pair of handcuffs. Can you believe it? <laughs> Rake is into it. Who can I handcuff? She's like, Oh no! Ah, uh, yeah, they did mention that some. They did mention that it's Suki's route. <laughs> They did mention that Satake just like fucking handcuffed them together once because they were in a big fight. <laughs> huh, so I knows what this is about as well. I always thought you two got along well. さいのことで喧嘩になるじゃない私たちもちょっとしたことで大喧嘩したことがあったのそんな時佐竹が仲直りする方法があるって教えてくれたのよ <laughs> so you're basically telling me. <coughs> <coughs> I'm kind of curious, but at the same time, not at all. Yeah, hello, Kaito. Good day, son. Good weather we're having today, isn't it? Nanda.髪の毛がボサボサじゃないか。ああ、ユーパーリーウォンビーロン。ほら。じっとしてるんだ。シュアー。だ、サンドウィスティングとマイヘア。カイトっていい匂いがするんだな。シャットファックアップウェアダー。
check the bed. I don't think there's the place that suffered the change, but it won't hurt me to check this in case. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's not warm because I just got out of it. The difference is that I've rubbed the sheets a little bit. That's something I did. I won't rest until I inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Desk. Mm, if someone barged him, the most likely scenario. <laughs> Just that they messed with my desk somehow. Whoever entered might have taken something from my drawers or stashed something inside of him. I don't see anything wrong with the desk after first glance. Okay, I'll check the drawers. Get ready to open the first one and... Okay, what the hell am I even doing? And if someone was to enter, I wonder why in the first place. To what end? I don't think it would be burglar would be able to sneak past the entrance of the estate and even if they were able to reach my room, I find it difficult to believe that they do so, expecting to find something valuable. Uh, the only scenario I can think of is that someone who lives and or works here snuck inside without me noticing. I already have some candidates in mind, especially if they snuck inside with ill intentions. I can't think of anyone but her. can't cons corner her and cross-examine her unless I confirm my suspicions in any case. I'll open the drawer and that'll tell me everything I need to know. Nothing different from usual. Bathroom. Maybe whoever had it has some kind of... was some sort of creepy fan of mine. If we assume that being the case, the most likely place where this intruder would went to would have been the bathroom for sure. Don't see anything different from usual here though. Whatever I noticed different from usual was in my room anyway. If this was the bathroom, I would have noticed it later, so this can't be it. Window. What about the window? Something out of the ordinary that at the first glance would have been easy to for whoever want to enter to open the window and sneak in, but the window is completely shut and there's no sign of it having been opened at some point. What about the glass itself? Nowadays, glass has become much stronger, though it can, retains its typical thinness. It possesses great thermal insulation capabilities. It's so, it's so strong that I bet I could punch it and it wouldn't crack. I don't think breaking it or melting it in order to get in would be a viable, viable option. Apparently robbers now use some cool tools and technology to be able to sneak into places, but I'm afraid that it's not my area of expertise. Am I an idiot? I already to do so whatever hap- uh, that whoever entered my room lives here. So it'd be stupid for the person to try and sneak into my room through the window. Meta. Whoa, who's that handsome looking dude? Oh, it's me. I see myself in the mirror, but it doesn't show me anything different from usual. I should probably brush my hair. Then take the comb and do as I say. I oh, already looked good before, but now... now I'm just unstoppable. Certainly in the morning, I'm already being cringe. Whatever, I should concentrate on trying to see what's actually changed in the room. Check the place that has some hunches on, but I couldn't find anything worth noticing. Why do I have this gut feeling that something's not right then? Maybe I'm just overthinking. Must have been my imagination. I'd come to realize that my gut feeling was right not so long after I left the room. I finished having breakfast, and as I'm returning to my room, I noticed that someone's watching me from behind. Uh, you need something? You've been following me for a while now. Huh, are you sure? Oh, well, I don't know what the hell's your deal, but if I was you, I'd move my ass to get ready to school. You don't have much time. Something wrong with my face. <laughs> First Aya, now you. You two have been staring at me the whole time today. What is this coal thing again? Yeah, totally nothing going on. Rekka kept staring at me the whole time we were at school. Same with Ani Aya whenever she we crossed paths in the corridors. Have I done something wrong? <laughs> Tired of your bullshit already? I met my limit. The moment we returned to the mansion, I quickly find Aya, who was watching me while I'm uh, while in hiding, and tell her straight. <laughs> Thanks for telling me the obvious, Sherlock. <laughs> What I'm asking you is why you've been following me. Reika's been giving me a nasty look all day as well. So no. Out with it. Aya suddenly presents me both of her hands and... <laughs> In the middle of the awkward silence, a couple of maids pass through us, whispering to each other about what Aya just said. 
Apologies, but I seem to have an obstruction in my external acoustic meters. My hearing ability is down by 30%. Can you say that again? Her face completely flushed. Does she not know what it is? She really needs to rush up with biology skills. Uh, basically, I didn't hear what you said well. It's basically a condition where your wax more or less blocks your hearing, but there's there's a bit of time for long explanations. <laughs> In the middle of the awkward silence, a bunch of butlers passed through us, whispering to each other about what Aya just said. How many fucking butlers do you people have hired? Never mind that. You can't be serious! I don't believe what I heard the first time. Uh, but now that she has revealed herself, there's no doubt in my mind. I'll be laughing my ass off. Tsuki was the one telling me this. But considering it's her, and the situation changes. You can't be seriously suggesting that I stole your panties. So, so On what grounds? Huh? Huh, so Reiko assumed I looked, picked my way in, clever. Okay, you got me, I'll give them back. I then searched my- reached inside my pants. <laughs> no, I'm fucking not, I was joking, I adapt. So that's why you two gave me those nasty looks ever since this morning. You thought I was human garbage! I'm impressed by your bold accusation, but I'm not your guy. <laughs> you just made that shit up. Someone call a doctor, we got a situation over here. Anyway, no, I didn't steal your fucking underwear. Why well, would I even do that in the first place? You clearly fucking did! Huh? So you can read my mind? Uh, so you can read minds? Wouldn't mind doing that right now. Actually, this could explain why I felt like someone snuck into my room this morning. Yeah, I brushed it off thinking I was imagining things, but I guess I was wrong. Go to my room and check my underwear as well. You gotta be kidding me right now. <laughs> Don't peep, you perv. Say as I quickly close the drawer where my boxes are. There's underwear missing from my drawer as well. <laughs> so it seems. And with one clear twisted inten- uh, And with clear t twisted intentions. One with clear twisted intentions. This t thief doesn't care about sexes, only underwear, it seems. Which leads me to believe that the levels of depravity at this of this individual know no boundaries. Elementary, my dear Aya. I'm surprised you got that one. You know, he uses assistant's real name. I still can't believe anyone would get that reference these days. Because I got out of myself there, eh? Anyway, uh, just your way. I'm about to crack this case wide open. Of course, after all, my name is Asagiri Kaito. It is my business to know what other people do not know. IQ 220? No, I actually took an IQ test the other day. I got a hundred and seven. Jeez, you have no chill. Wouldn't expect that from you of all people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't say you're an asshole like she is, but in some ways you're even worse. 
Aya suddenly loses balance and falls backwards. Doesn't look like she's faking it, so I quickly rush to where she is, so she doesn't fall. Was it just shocking to know that she's sometimes even worse than Reka? Huh? Suddenly notice a presence on the other side of the room's door. We place Aya on the bed and go check what it could be. Peek my head outside and check left and right, but I see nothing. Maybe I just imagined things. Something's lurking in the shadows around here. Well, that I'm sure. Just can't check off that she's the only one capable of doing this. Very few people would dare steal a girl's underwear. And even less dare to steal a guy's underwear as well. Whoever it was, he or she went for Aya. Someone already someone difficult to steal things from in this mansion. Also me. Facts point towards this one person I'm thinking about. Someone who wouldn't hesitate to do such a heinous crime. It's gotta be me. Wait, no, it was, I wasn't thinking about me. Come on. What need would I have to steal both her and my own underwear? I return to my room and think about it while I wait for Aya to wake up. I didn't even think of the possibility that we might not be the only ones who had their underwear stolen from us. I didn't give it much thought until now, but this is a thing. But that is a thing. I could ask around and see what I can dig up. If there's other people who've had their underwear stolen, it could shed some light on the situation. Hey, wakey, wakey. Yeah, how about you quit it with your bullshit and get a move on already? To where the truth of this case lies. Let's see. <laughs> Are you sure about what you're choosing? I don't mind doing it. But know that if you don't ironically choose this, I ain't holding back! My recommendation is that you shouldn't choose this option. It's not that I ha don't have the balls to do it, mind you. I simply think it's not the smartest choice given the situation. Once I grow up, there's no going back from that, and I'd rather avoid that. I have more than enough courage to do it. I get what you're trying to do! You're pushing the button until I give up and actually do it! What the hell am I on about? Hey, you! Stop it! Think with your brain for once! I can't do this! Stop choosing the third option, holy shit! <laughs> Nothing, ignore what I said. This is the last time I warn you, stop! <laughs> ignore me. Okay, guess I'm actually serious enough to do this. Oh well, if I'm gonna grab someone, then I only have one choice here. I look at Aya straight in the eyes and then quickly place my hands over her chest. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Don't blame me. Blame God himself. For he was the one who chose my path. <laughs> Nipples are hard. <laughs> But you're fucking went down there too. The fuck? Oh, sorry. I'm having an inner conflict with myself. <laughs> I'm actually gonna load though. Don't want that on my record. <laughs> uh, ask around. I think asking around would be best. Those two other, the two other choices are of dubious productivity anyway. Yeah, it's the only way to crack this case. Pretty much. That's why I'm bringing you with me. I can't really go to the maze and casually ask them if someone had, if some of their underwear has been missing as of late, you know. Her cheeks flush red as she nods. Let's get going. Our search for the true culprit commences. Who should we ask first? Let's ask the cute mates of the mansion first. If I was the robber, I'd definitely target the cute mates first. What? I don't think so. Whoever stole your underwear made it clear that he or she is targeting good looking people. It's only obvious that I arrived at this conclusion. Why are you going so red? Something wrong? 
whatever. Anyway, you heard me, so now we're asking cute maids. Considering, considering he targeted such a good-looking girl like yourself, there's not much point in going around grilling all the all the twos around here. Now is there? Hey, gotta move on. I need you to guide me around the place, otherwise I'll get lost in no time. Move your ass. Her face is still red. She starts to stagger a little bit in front of me as she tries to guide me around. I don't know if I made the right choice by having her as my pal to solve this case. As it be pretty awkward for the maid to see while I, me while I asks her the hard questions, I take some distance from them and watch them from afar. She whispers something to her ear, probably stuff about the underwear. Hopefully she follows my instructions to the letter. Wait, I must warn you about something before you do. Don't outright say that your underwear has been robbed or that you're trying to track down the culprit, understood? You can't rule out the possibility that the maids we're going to... Uh, if you're going to ask, could be the culprit. Huh, and yet you had no problems to immediately pin the blame on me because Reika said so. She's hanging her head down. She's telling the truth. I should leave her be. In any case, the possibility is still there, so just do as I say. Just say something along the lines that you lost your underwear and are looking for it. If the maid has some sort of or some of her underwear missing as well, then she'll most likely tell you. For some chance the maid automatically linked the underwear missing to a, a robber, then the most likely scenario would be that she herself is the culprit. だったかしら。一度他のメイドたちに聞いてみましょうか。いいの。もう一度部屋を調べてみます。何かありましたらご連絡ください。ありがとう。She then bids her farewells to the maid and returns. She's innocent. はい。良かったです。This makes the chances of me guessing the culprit lower than what I expected. So I was target I all along. Case, then I don't know why my underwear was stolen as well. They keep asking more pe some more people after that, but in the end, we aren't able weren't able to find any clues. Wait, but what was the point of this whole scene? Thus, the panty snatcher case came to a close. Little did I know that more than half a year later, the case would be reopened. What? Who'd be the fucking culprit, though? <laughs> I think this is a scene we've already seen. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to be authentic. Oh, we're gonna, you know, get the. Actually, no. Surprisingly, not. I thought we we're gonna get the grope again. I, Reika, and Son, and I are, are assembled in my room. Just oh. that saying, but neither Sun nor I are very interested in participating. God is whatever weird elixir they're peddling, Sun and I aren't getting along. Uh, uh, Sun and I getting along uh, is an impossibility. This <laughs> まず道にもならない代物です。それにこの鎖がポイントなんです。引き伸ばしも可能で最大50センチまで伸ばすことができます。そうなんですか？すごいですね。We're planning to use them for some depraved shit, weren't you? 違うと言ってるだろう。はい、うるさい、うるさい。手を出しなさい。カイトは左手。高野は右手。手ですか？ Sun sticks out his hand despite clearly not understanding what's going on. I not happening. Nope, no chance. Hold on, let me auto. 
This is the first one. Let's go back to here. Save this one so we have the first options that are available. Don't stick my hand out. Don't stick my hand out. Don't stick my hand out. Allow me to repeat myself. Not happening. Later, bitches! <laughs> I'm going out the window! I'll knock Sun's lights out! Nazi! Slow down. Grab the wall. Wiggle like you're trying to make your way. My turn, I draw! This card allows me to draw two more cards from my deck. I'll knock Sun's lights out! Good luck, mate. I'll see you on the far side. Riddle me this, Raika. It's gonna disappear from this room in a matter of two seconds. I still have a trap card in my. <laughs> but I can still fight! God fucking damn it! <laughs> You're the boss. I could bitch all I want. But you'll end up getting what she wants one way or another. Now let's just go for the stick my hands out normally. You're the boss. I can bitch all I want. I'll end up going that. Stick my hands out. Palm facing up. What you got for me? A bonus from all my hard work. As she says this, she reaches for Sun's right arm. Clink. The dry metallic sound resounds throughout my room. She just falls up by grasping my own arm. Clink. We both take in the new state of our wrists at the same time. <laughs> Excuse me, but what the fuck? Oh, I see. When I'm very not okay with that. Hold on. Now I'm, now I'm curious. If I go back. Jesus Christ. All of, all of the auto saves are just stick my hand out and don't stick my hand out. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's choose this one. Maybe it actually changes something. Like him not being surprised or something. <laughs> no, he's still surprised. Oh, I see. But I'm very not okay with that. Are you for real? え、これから休日が明けるまで。それで生活しなさい。じゃ、冗談ですよね。僕は she drops the key into her pocket. As if cufflocks are mere child's play. I reach into my pocket and search for old faithful. Hmm. There's nothing inside. Reika twirls the lockpick around her fingers. I must have snatched it while I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Idiot. Even without a specialized tool, I could bust out of the out bust us out with a bit of wire. It'll just take me a little bit more time. Sharp girl! She's one step ahead of me! You know me so well. Takanoni, Anatani Tokua. No, 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 no
あなたをクビにするわ<笑>だからカイトが妙な真似をしたら全力を持って阻止しないとお姉さん No mercy in Mephi's her sister's bodyguard. She's probably bluffing, but I doubt Sun perceives it that way. <laughs> nice, found a paperclip. Let me just stick it in here and. Sushi! He grabs hold of my right hand. Chill Sun getting fired is nothing to sweat over. You said you can just like stretch the handcuffs up to 50 centimeters. That's enough to strangle Reika. <laughs> Come on. Oh, so it's a little bit of 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 a little bit Two girls leave the room. Silence reigns. <laughs> oh, fuck this. <laughs> the handcuffs keep us clo so close together that our shoulders constantly crash into each other. Back up. We move in opposite directions and the chain reaches its maximum extent. <laughs> Ugh. This chain is not breaking anytime soon. <laughs> I'm not going near him. Having to be that close to him again will only make it harder to resist the call of the void. Sun, who is no doubt thinking the same, plants himself where he stands. Despite all of our straining and struggling, the chain refused to extend anywhere near the pos a promised 50 centimeters. I guess the link can only be adjusted if you have the key. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth! He says while tagging, uh, uh, tugging the chain towards him. <clears throat> this reminds me of a certain book I read some time ago where a guy and a girl happened to find themselves in a similar situation. I just wish I was chained with a girl right now, not son of all fucking people. I'm tired, find me a nice place to take a load off. <laughs> Try and sit and I'll break the handcuffs off. <laughs> I'm holding my urges to do it because I care about you, but don't force my hand here, kid. <laughs> Exploiting your enemy's weakness is only natural. <laughs> In the end, there's not much for Sun to do but back down. <laughs> Plop myself onto the bed. Not exactly into huddling up with another guy, so I'm having Sun remain on his feet. Which means that one of my arms is being forcefully pulled into the air, and I'm completely getting pretty tired of it. Hell of I know. I'm not about to get negative to decide it's bath time, by the way. Naturally. I suppose that friendship remedy hasn't resulted in anything but more arguments yet. Sure, I can see this working for siblings, but with son? That's just... So we got any bright ideas? I'm well aware. Uh, the two of us just sitting here in silence at dinner time sounds like fucking torture. Actual torture. Why? I'm not actually all that interested, but it's better than just sitting here in silence, so we end up going. I was about to ask you the same thing. <laughs> So why did we come back to my room? That's far out, home skillet. Just a small slang word. Let's just kill some time by reading, shall we? I opened up the book I borrowed from Sun. Uh, reading this book one-handed is an ordeal. Please do share, why not? Don't even think about sitting down next to me, I'll puke on your ass. This book's pretty engaging. What's it called? Let me see. Uh, the Bald Senorita. How about you stop yelling? I can't concentrate. Sit down next to me before I can get a word in. 
Sanda is not only suffocating but also disgusting in every sense of the word, please. Boy, you better watch it or I'll be coming for your ass, literally. Be careful if I wear you, son, that was no joke. I'd rather not think about it, but uh, it wouldn't be my first experience with another man. I'm gonna stop thinking about that and shift gears. That guy's the one pulling jokes on us, really. Here we go again, whiny son monologue number 1928. What's with your fetish for becoming her bodyguard anyway? これだけ完璧な女性はそうはいないだろう。ってこんなことを言わせるな。え、<笑><笑> We usually use the school computers on account of the dorm not having TVs, don't tell anyone. It would feel, always feel like the advantages my team would gain were fleeting, while the other teams felt endless. Even if we were, we, even if we have runners on first and second with no outs, I always got a sinking feeling that neither of them are gonna end up making it to home plate. But when the other team is in the same circumstances, the dread is practically palpable. Right now I'm feeling precisely that kind of dread. 30 more minutes. Well, they did, did want to read for a bit, but Sun's presence is so gloomy, it's legitimately distracting. Sun persists a little longer, but he ends up tearing, tearing himself away from the book, too. I feel like we're both experiencing the same feeling. <laughs> Our eyes made. <laughs> I took the words right out of my mouth, I'd rather stare at a dumpster. The next three days are gonna be hell on Earth. Oi! You think she'd ever listen to what I have to tell her? Are you that desperate to enter? Feel free to talk shit about me until the cows come home, bud. But did you just criticize your dear friend Reka's idea? <laughs> Man, if your dick is even half the size of that massive ego, you've got one, you've got on, you've got going on then. Lipa, じゃない? Ah, yeah. So you do kyo ga lipa, じゃないというわけであって、そのだから、僕をからかうのはやめろ。Quit shouting in my ears, it's annoying as hell. だったら僕を怒らせる真似をするな! Listen, I just hatched an idea. 実に期待できないが聞いてやろう. Sounds to me like you aren't interested in hearing it. スズメの涙程度は期待しよう. I got us out of the handcuffs. Sit back and give me a little time and I'll see if I can unlock them. それじゃ僕が首になる! Now don't misunderstand me here. Whenever Rake is around, we'll stick them back on and lock ourselves up. なんだと? Think about it. They all think that we've been stuck together for the entire holiday. But in reality, we've got to enjoy the lack of each other's company whenever she isn't looking. It's foolproof, my boy. I would rather stay chained up, chained to me 24/7. <laughs> Thought some would agree on that on the spot. Looks rather conflicted, however. それは確かにいいんだ. I know, right? ただしそれは... レイカ様を裏切るということ。はあ。レイカお嬢様やアヤお嬢様はプリンシパルであり、絶対的なあるじなんだぞ。彼女たちの命令なら聞くしか。Son, please, we're not goddamn butlers. Sure, even I recognize that it's important for a bodyguard to obey orders. While on the job, that is, they have no right to order us around when we're off duty. Look at it this way. If a client ordered you to let them go on a walk into the city alone, would you allow it? Not yet. 
And there you have it. There are orders you will obey and orders you will not obey. I find it funny how you never felt guilty about openly saying that you'd use Reika or Aya to further your own career prospect, but wouldn't agree to do something as that. Something like this. This dude for real. His face makes it very clear that he's suffering from a new level of mental anguish, and yet he's still going to add tears at his ridiculous, ridiculously stupid promise. A bodyguard is someone who can be trusted. Someone in that perspective, someone that a prospective client can put their complete faith in. He taught us that this was the most critical part of being a bodyguard. Some could never look past even the slightest, past or even slightly bend that tenet. Happily, he became his ambition and calculating nature, but in reality, he's obsessed with upholding the principles of bodyguarding. Yet he constantly gets involved in getting... Yet he constantly gets in the way of Aya's daily life. Haha, <laughs> funny. Uh, but don't... Fine, but don't come crying to me later. Even if you change your mind, I'm not freeing you. Sometimes I gotta give it to him. There is a reason behind why he graduated at the top of our class and moments like these prove it. But then he says dumb shit like this. It reminds me about why I don't respect him as much. <sighs> Dinner time. Riding to the dining room. Still in chains. Can it this high walk? Deal with it. Because I'm taller than you. Took you a minute. Time to play the I'm bigger down there too card. Uh, that again, just one prank already set him off. I'll let him off the rook for now. Looks like all the eyeballs are on us as we enter the dining room. Can't blame him. Sun fiercely returns their stares and the onlookers avert their eyes in a hurry. They're staring at you, dude. Must be embarrassing. I think so. I'm pretty sure that you're attracting more eyeballs considering your flies down. What? Getting. Kisama. <laughs> Whispers fill the dining room. <laughs> You're just drawing more attention to yourself, my boy. Yeah, I'll help them calm down. Pretty cliche line there, son. What? I decided to question Tsuki, who has just appeared beside me. You know about these things. Yes. Before they fought a ton back in those days, didn't they? So this. Naniga gain that the Kostirunoka, Maido. See, he's as courage with Tuki as ever. Kuraskua, Tonjimasen. Strange, Tuki looks genuinely frightened. She's not making eye contact, which only makes her claim that she doesn't know anything about the handcuffs incident more suspect. Doesn't slip by Sunny either. Shiranai, Toy Tana. Hi. She managed to collect herself surprisingly quickly. Honto Nandana. Turns away from her as if he's completely lost interest. I'm pretty sure he still doubts her honesty, but it's not like he has any ground to start making accusations. Pretty reasonable of him. Perhaps you could introduce us to someone then? I'd like to speak to someone who might know about the handcuff story. Or have son's arm around a little while with my. With mine. Ah, that's wonderful. The fact that at least half the people around here won't think we're hardcore BDSM partners. We take a seat next to one another. I had planned to give Satake an earful for inventing this living hell of a remedy, but it looks like he's not here tonight. Yeah, I feel ya. <laughs> If I move at all, I won't be able to eat. How about you fucking make do instead, seeing how you can apparently eat from the moon? If I opened the dictionary and looked for the word hypocrisy, his picture would be in the definition. What travesty have I committed this time? 
、下品も一緒に抱いてきたんだ。Is this the part where I start laughing? 違う。真面目な話。幼いながらにして、年の離れた兄たちより礼儀作法が上手だと、よく褒められたんだ。Go, go, shame their, shame their better bodyguards, though. うるさいなんでそんなことを知ってる Nobody actually. <笑> I didn't, I didn't know he had some kind of complex involving his brothers, though. Son's hyper competitiveness when it comes to academic, academics and anything related to bodyguarding. So, any katate to you know, shoki ga ante s h i n a i Interesting, I don't care. I can use the fork just fine, but for the life of me, I can't use the knife fine. Whatever I try, the plate slides away and makes it impossible for me to cut anything. Ma wari o m i t e m i r o Tabe oe ta monoga de hajimeta. So, any krabete pokra, hambun mo sunde inaizo. It's not a race, son. Ya, dame da! Ea ni modote shokugo no benkyo o shitai! Lies, you just wanna get back to your room so you can spank the monkey. So, 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 Of course, I'm gonna be an asshole. Just go ham, dude. Go in? Yeah, look, I'll show you. Lift my chained hand towards Sun's head. No, no, no. Observe. I then grab Sun's head and slam it into his plate. Sun's head decimates the meatloaf. <laughs> Confusion and anger unite to produce an awfully strange sound from Sun's throat. Eat up, boy! <laughs> I'm holding his head down with as much force as I can so he's not going anywhere. Sun struggling sends his head rolling all over the meatloaf. Many awful squelching sounds follow. I've already restrained one of his arms so he's not having trouble putting up any resistance at all. Come on, there's a good boy, eat it all up now. <laughs> What's that? Hold me down, Articide? <laughs> Sure, I'll oblige. I summon every ounce of strength within me and attempt to physically fuse Sun's face with his plate. <laughs> Sharp sound. Something shattering. Looks like the plate broke. <laughs> his groaning grows noticeably louder. It puts in one last ditch effort to break free, but it's futile. Be still, my child. <laughs> Whoa! In a show of resilience beyond imagination, Sun summons a power one would acquire when lifting an overturned car off of their entrapped wife and child, and Sun manages to sweep Marm away and free himself from his ceramic prison. Sun's words, born of pure anger, penetrate the dense layer of mashed meatloaf coating his face and reach my ears. This guy stinks. Nah, I just wanted to treat you like a dog, but now that I think about it. I guess any other two I wanted to do as well. I need to be so picky about my wording. Good luck. Pull on the handcuffs, shut,、uh, shutting down Sun's hopes of retribution. Sorry, this is a lesson in humility to become a better bodyguard, my dude. Damn, just a few seconds, I'd expect better from you. Huh, really, you look like the same old son as always to me. Uh, yeah, there's a bit of、uh, meatloaf juice on you. I wouldn't sweat over that bargain bin suit you're wearing, though, honestly. This is a big suit for me. I'm going to get a 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 suit for me. Mate! <laughs> Sechi! You've been on the lookout for a good wallpaper for a while now. Folks, the camera's fo- phone ca- phone's camera on him. Who's Kiyomi? Damn, she's pretty hot. Miruna! Huh? Snatches the phone out of my hand as light sp- hands at light speed. You don't know what's going on, yes, then. So you've got brothers and at least one sister. How many siblings you got exactly? Where do you think you're going? And you fell on your ass. 
Nah, I'm still eating. Boku, you say it's wrong. I ain't moving. Na, なんだと I'm gonna eat my meatloaf, and you're gonna sit there and wait. 顔が不愉快な気分なんだ。Don't be so harsh on yourself, my brother. Do yourself a favor and step away from the mirror. そういうことじゃない。ハンバーグ臭くて不愉快なんだ。I don't sweat it. If you give it some thought, it sinks just like your life so far. So that's something. <laughs> 頭が痛くなってきた。意味がわからなさすぎる。All I'm trying to say is your life, hope, li life hopes and ambitions will eventually, eventually be、uh, inevitably be crushed, just like your noggin did the meatloaf. そんな付け出しはいらん So then I decided to take a breather after dinner and are currently worrying about what the fuck we're gonna do as we head to the bath. ちょうどよかった。なんだ今からお風呂ですよね。そうだ。私もご一緒に参ります。And while you're telling us, you could just follow us inside without saying anything. いえ、お目付け役も兼ねておりますので。The butler retrieves a key from his pocket. まさかそれははい。その手錠の鍵でございます。上着を脱ぐ際、手錠が邪魔かと思います。そこで、その間、こちらの手錠を二人の足につけさせていただきます。He pulls out a second pair of handcuffs. Is this a joke? It took a little bit of a joke. It took a little bit of a joke. It took a little bit of a joke. How are they supposed to take off their pants when their legs are cuffed to each other? Riddle me that. Load us in. セーブよくわかんないけどロードいたします。だが、何？トンピネス。Look at all the plates down. Do you think cut it up, son? Oh. oh. Somewhat stunned by my good will, son politely cuts the meat loaf into small pieces. Obviously, it's a lot easier to eat this way in our current situation. もし切り分けられたぞ。Should be, should be far easier to eat now. Slide the plate out of Sun's reach and grab a fork. Oh, それは僕のハンバーグだ I don't know if I touched either of them, so who cares? I slide my own plate over to him. Just cut that one up and eat it. まさか、自分が食べるために僕を利用したのか Should it? 僕のためにやったんじゃないと Let us say I was. 貴様というやつは There's no need to get angry, son. Ah, that's fine.、Uh, now, uh, now I can eat without feeling bad about what I did. Just eat your damn meatloaf. In the end, he's still an asshole, so. Just go all in. <laughs> son holds back now that he knows it's an order from Reika. We shuffle over to the baths. Oh, that was a nice bath. Getting to see a microscopic penis for the first time was exhilarating, too. <laughs> You're kind of scaring me back there, dude. You were staring at my schlong like it was a museum, museum exhibit. <laughs> He hangs his head in defeat. Alright, <laughs> bad. It was a good experience. So, not positive, you man. I didn't know. His retort is uncharacteristically weak, almost as if he's actually upset. Oh, yeah,、uh, where are we gonna do the sleep? What are we gonna do about the sleep situation? Shiran. Okay, I'll take the bed. Boku. We're gonna have to find a bit of space at the foot of the bed. Alright, let's hit the hay. Baka o Yuna! Gyaku nara da kyo shte yaru. You're the only one being silly here, my friend. Use it in a. You do know we're currently standing in my room. Slat Mama. So the most she's in the Taisa in the Rukuta, many made a Kirakajanaka. Raise a fair point. Kyo, a token it's Kareta to you, Noni. Skareo no Costa Mama, Stani was Takunai. I'll stand, okay, I'm gonna sleep now, night night. Stony Hiro to Siruna. What's your problem, man? Wakata. Boku Motada only in Naruna Tsurai. じゃんけんで決めようじゃないか。No. 
。なぜだ妥協しただろうどこまでもひねくれてるな。明日は絶対に僕がベッドだからな。おい、電気を消してくれ。No. なんだと Can't sleep without the light on. 普通逆だろ。I'm not everyone. 僕は電気を消さないと眠れないんだ。Unfortunate. 明日は僕がベッドで、電気を消すからな。No dice. どこまで傲慢な。もう寝たか。Why are you still awake? 座ったような体勢。しかも明るかったら眠れない。Man, I'm half asleep over here. I'm barely keep my eyes open. <laughs> What? Nan de monai. And shut up. o m a t a n o s o d a So you did want to say something. What you mean, having fun? Body g o d Whoa, whoa, don't even say that as a joke. You know all about how this is the last thing I want to be doing, don't you? Tash k a n i n Son chuckles softly. Daga. Seo p r e s s u r a nani m o n a What do you mean? メーカーとして優秀なボディーガードになることを義務付けられた僕に心のゆとりはみじんもない政治家や財界を代表する大物のボディーガードをこなす兄を必死に追うだけ試験や実技で一番を取ることなど両親にとっては当たり前のことであり褒めることでもないどれだけ頑張ったところで認められはしないそんなプレッシャーがなければ、僕も少しは楽しくやれた気がするんだ。カイトのように。さあな。やる気も実力も感じられないが、僕にはどこか、そう思えてしまった。僕の意志は関係ない。ただ優秀で。兄たちに負けないボディーガードになるだけさ。十四人。Damn! 僕は末っ子だ。Your parents really went at it, holy hell! Cruelly express how impressed I am at how his parents managed to pump out kids like a baby factory for 15 years straight. 誰もが僕より優秀で、それがひどく。I don't leave me hanging. Open my eyes and see sun snoozing away. Rest in peace, trooper. Extend my free hand and reach for, a light, for the light switch. The room falls dark. Can't sleep in the dark. Guess I'm pulling an all nighter tonight. I had my first experience with a woman about six years ago. Better safe than sorry. At that age, I had neither interest nor knowledge of sex and what it entails. But the moment I experienced it for myself, it became something I could take pleasure in. Women exist only to serve and satisfy men. That is what I was told. When I was young, I had sex with women of many different ages. Some were my age, some were a decade older or two, a decade or two older. But, I didn't, cons but it, I didn't consent to my first time. She was much older than me. A middle aged woman who was roughly 40 years old raped me. Jesus Christ! So he was also hit with that! Okay, guess uh. Karma got his ass in a way. Same way his dad. Just uh, in case of his dad, he just kinda got murdered by the kid that he was torturing, basically. Uh, uh Dwayne around my inexperienced and mature body. Around the same time, I learned how having se sex with other men felt as well. Oh. Learned nothing but utter humiliation and shame from those experiences. But nonetheless, I found myself being subjected to those abuses by other men over and over again. I was not given a choice. Oh boy! The, your already dead dad is back. Lovely. The man spoke while looking down at me, broken and used. I was too afraid and too much pain to respond. One other emotion while up to the surface and drowned out the rest. One other emotion stemming from the humiliation. The humiliation delivered onto me by those depraved foul men while consuming rage. 
だがまだまだ狂気が足りないだーってまた新しいことを教えてやる襲われることの辛さ屈辱を知った後ならその逆の立場がいかに素晴らしいかを知ることができるだろうそう弱い立場から脱却しろ強者へと転じることができれば Rise to my feet and steady. Can't beat this man yet. I'm trapped. He's strong and I'm weak. Must learn if I wish to escape. I will use anyone and every anyone and everyone as a stepping stone if it means becoming strong. As I can get rid of this again. So, so did he. Listen, after they showed small Tsuki in the fucking moment her drama formed as a CG, I can't be sure that they wouldn't show. Small Kaito getting the same treatment, you know? Now I'll be fucking sure with this game anymore. If only to take everything. There's a girl over there who doesn't seem to know what's going on. She still hasn't noticed me. Can't help but wonder what's going through her head as she stands there all alone. Right, I must think. To pity them would be a mistake. To consider the fact that I'm about to ruin a young girl's life would be a mistake. Don't hesitate. That was the first time I raped a woman. That was the moment I began my journey on the path of strength. Duh. As in light streams through the window. Duh. Oh yeah. Couldn't sleep because the lights were off. Must have managed to get a few winks in after sunrise. It was a light sleep, which is probably why I had that dream. I raise my hand to wipe the sweat from my brow. The rattle of a chain. Oh, yeah, I forgot about you. I'm handcuffed. I'm still, uh, I'm still a participant in Draco's little game. Mm. I'm pulling on the cuff's hand wakes the sun up. Mm. So it seems. Mm. Dumbass. Mm. Looks like his memory has returned. <laughs> You pop your hemorrhoids? That's not a problem. Yuki told me. Well, since you're up, let me go wash my face. I don't think you need to, though. No way to make that ugly mug look any better. On what planet does washing your face take a whole 20 minutes? You both heave a heavy sigh. We're both- we're fighting over who should go first and who should wash the- wear first. It's really It's really fucking stupid. And we do wash our faces while- all while having a few road bumps in the process. <gasps> Such a kid. That's the most man. Oh, there was double dack in you while you were washing your face. That's the best thing! Cool it, cowboy. You're hurting my arm. We're allowed a mere 30 centimeters of space between us. Either of us trying to do just about anything bothers the other. Sure thing. Come on, let's go. Moon. You both remain standing in front of the door. Kidding? You open it. This is my room, so you open my door. That's just semantics. You're close to the door, so you open it. Nah, you're close. Nah, seriously, you're close. その自信がどこから来るか知らないが、僕を怒らせる前に扉を開けた方が賢明だ。Oh yeah, how about you? How do you plan to do that? 実力行使する。Don't you know that fights between bodyguards are strictly forbidden? そこで規則を持ち出すな。それに、これは争いではなく警告だ。Sounds like semantics to me. 貴様。You want to square up? I don't care if you're top classes or top of my deck. 
Sometimes you just gotta do what needs to be done. We stare at each other that da- we stare each other down as a mutual desire for physical confrontation grows stronger. I jerked my cuffed arm backwards. I hear the chain rattling and brace myself. <laughs> You first! I have to! You told me to give up! I'll get the door for you. We both back down. On our way to breakfast, we bump into Aya in the hallway. Oh, don't be bowing like that. You almost, almost fell over. Thanks for nothing more like. Ah! Son's elbow sinks into my side. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You might say we've even developed a physical relationship. Ferociously drive a fist in his son's stomach. <laughs> Drops to one knee. The chain pulls me forward a little bit. Son notices it and uses the chain to pull me down. He's <laughs> getting along really well! Yeah, it's a guy thing! I set the chain against Sun's throat and pull with all my might. <laughs> Sit the fuck down! Sit! <laughs> I had to parts with a beaming smile as if not I'm not choking a man to death right in front of her. She actually thinks we're getting along better, apparently. Oh yeah, by the way. SIT! Eyes- A son's eyes roll back into his head. I wonder if this chump's gonna say it soon. I mean, how much longer can he- AHHHHH! I'm hit with a backhand blow and the chain falls limp. <laughs> that is get- This is what I get for my carelessness. MOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOO
Coward. どっちがだ Fine, fine. Allow me to propose a compromise, good sir. You open the first door we come across. その次はカイト。交互に開閉するのであれば公平だな。Nah, nah, you get the second one too. なぜだ交互がいいアイデアだろう I don't want to alternate every single time now. Well, just do it. One opens the door, the other closes it. So you can handle the doors today. 日替わり分担か。本当に明日は貴様がやるんだろうな。No、future, we'll、tomorrow, tomorrow. 約束を破る気満々だな。当たり前だ。プランが悪いとは言わない。そうだな。今日貴様がやると言うならいいだろう。No. なぜだ僕なら信用たる人物。明日引き受けるぞ。No、you know. Just wait for the first door to open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. I sense another fest fight around the corner. Fine, fine. We'll go with the plan that satisfied both party parties the most. Mata kudara nai koto yu tsumori daro. Oh, no, my next proposal shall be entirely impartial. It may even guide us towards friendship. Sore wa nai. The plan is as follows. We both open the doors. Bam. Doji ni akeru? One of us twists the doorknob, the other opens and closes the door. Naru hodo. Jitsu ni hi kori steki da ga. 公平だ僕はどちらでも構わないどっちをやるかは貴様が決めてくれなぜだ僕が勝手に決めると不満だろう不満の多いやつだなどうすれば納得する好きにしてくれ I'm fine with you agreeing to play rock, paper, scissors. But you're not just gonna let your opponent decide the parameters in which you play, are you? Does it bother you that I'm deciding all the. Does, doesn't it bother you that I'm deciding all the rules here? I can't be trusted until we ensure the rules are, are fair. I've decided on the general game of rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors. Now the more in-depth the rules are up to you. I understand, I understand. Well, the decision is one time. Wow, how simple. I thought I suppose it makes sense considering you're the one that came up with it. I don't think I'm a fool. It sure is. So, I'm going to cut the door and cut the door. I'm going to cut the door and cut the door. I'm going to cut the door and cut the door. Let me stop it right there, Junior. What the hell possessed you to be so arrogant? Do you? <laughs> I decide the game, you decide the rules, correct? Yes, as I recall, you were the one that decided this would be a best of one. I think it's pretty unfair, because you just took it upon yourself to decide the ultimate responsibilities of the winner and loser as well, honestly. Naturally. Just think of how troublesome it would be to argue about this after the fact. That just doesn't work. I'll pollute the game. I can, I, I, I can feel it. I can feel it. By playing a game of rock, paper, scissors. No. I decide. I decide we'd play rock, paper, scissors to figure out the division of labor, and you decide it'd be best of one. So now the particulars of the game must be decided through another game of rock, paper, scissors. Whoever wins the subsequent game of rock, paper, scissors may decide the particulars of the rules of the preceding game of rock, paper, scissors. He raises his hand and re ready to begin the game. I heave a labored sigh and single for him to stop. Are we nothing more than animals, son? Nani? We have agreed that we were going to set particulars of the first rock-paper-scissors match through this rock-paper-scissors match. 
But I didn't hear confirmation. It's okay with you. We shouldn't be doing this after all, then. Huh? I decided that we would play the fair game of rock, paper, scissors. We decide the stipulation that it would be a best of one affair. And to decide the stipulations of the second game, it only makes sense to use a fair rock game of rock, paper, scissors in order to decide who has the right to choose said stipulations. Did that not occur to you, son? How do you propose we decide? You better make sure it's fair. Sun sighs and shakes his head. You sure? Ah, もういい争いも疲れた。それならいっそのこと引き受けた方が楽だ。Mm, I feel kind of bad now. And so Sun's good will led, led us to decide who would hold the responsibility of door opener. One other thing we need to decide, actually. The bathroom. Toilet? We both only need to take a piss yesterday. Uh, but, uh, that was more than pure luck. But th that was nothing more than pure luck. <laughs> Just listen, this is important. <laughs> if we could just have the chain extend outside the bathroom door, everything would be fine, right? <laughs> Plus, when you tried to piss yesterday, I remember how you completely missed the toilet and sprayed it all over the place. <laughs> Yeah, but, but don't sweat it too much. Anyway, the issue isn't when we piss, it's when we shit. Focus. It's not like we can both hold it in for two whole days. So, you could The very nature of the fecal excretion demands placing one's buttocks onto the toilet seat. As such, unlike in the case of mere urination, the chain length will present a major logistical issue. Maybe we can manage it if we stretch our arms out, but, uh... We can't just leave the mud in the trench now, can we? This isn't your average visual novel, son. Your everyday moege would have bound would have bound characters like us deal with a little humiliation, and that'd be the end of it. I'm not looking forward to getting a whiff of his shit. Mine is flower scent the door. Come on, son, I need your brain power to find a solution here. We could probably do that if we fast, but uh, do you really want to do that? Perhaps we should seek the advice of our predecessors then. Rek and I did this too, right? They may very well have a safe shitting tactic to share with us. They're human beings, son. I know what you're on about, to be honest. I got a shit. And if they know how I can get a good shit in, I'm asking. He's genuinely begging from the bottom of his heart. Then come up with something! And how do you intend to ask them exactly? Hey, I need to take a dump. Mind letting me out of my shackles? Then don't suggest it! <laughs> But yeah, asking them about the SST might be an ordeal. In quite a conundrum, aren't we? It's different with girl. I mean, I uh, guess it isn't all that different, but still seeing a man trying to force his massive dump out has got to be a whole lot worse. <laughs> We've got to come up with something before any of us has an emergency. We haven't had one yet, but... <laughs> What was that just now? Son's body twitches. Son, did you just clench your butt? 
You're sweating bullets, son. Wanna head back inside then? Fine, so what are we gonna do? So that are shaking. Never seen you shake like that before, son. I'm getting at just don't think about it vibes from you. Yeah, right, guys shaking like a leaf. You sure you're alright? Nothing's coming to me. If you just let me pick the lock, we wouldn't be in this dilemma. I thought you'd say that. Well, I did say that I wouldn't do it even if you begged. <laughs> Are those tears I see? Ah, I could go for a nice run. You win. Don't want to put any strain on the old poop tube, eh? I feel you. I don't to put any strain on the old poop tube, eh? Well, I clenched your tummy for dear life, then. Yeah, I thought you'd be shocked to see how much I love that shit. Son's hopping up and down, praying his hands can continue to act as a bulwark against the oncoming mudslide. Doesn't take a defecation expert to know what's going on here. This is pretty funny. He's clearly feeling the results of jumping around like that. He's gonna make himself sick at this rate. Fair enough then. We'll stop talking about this matter. We'll cross the brown br bridge when he come to it. So da na. He was trying to sound convincing there. He did a terrible job. Come on, son. Nani ga da? Do I really need to say it? I hurry to my. I hurry my pet snail son with a tag of the chain. I'm pretty sure you turning into a crippled turtle is more of a problem than my power walking. If it were me, I'd bite my I'd I, you'd bite my head off. What if I told you that you, you could let it all out? Come on. It'll be it'll be fine, son. Just have to call your son the shitter from now on. Why not? It's a pretty justified scenario. Well, I've heard that in elementary schools, if the other kids find out that you shit yourself, the law of humankind dictate that they must give you a poopy nickname. Uso,つくな。純粋無垢な子供が聞いたら勘違いしてしまうことを言うんじゃない。明日以降、ニュースでトイレに行けない子供たちというような触れ図を見つけたら訴えてやるぞ。you're not even processing what I'm saying anymore, dude. You're too far gone. はっきりしているさ。間違った社会にしないために、トイレは守るべきだぞ。Goodbye, son. You've lost it. とにかくトイレの話題はやめろ。I mean, it's a problem that I keep saying toilet over and over. うんこしたら? 僕はうんこじゃない! I never said anything about... 貴様! これ以上うんこといえば殺す! His eyes are bloodshot, his expression bloodthirsty. Fine, fine, calm yourself, my brother. Let's just head back to my room. You're not gonna make it. That's not just his problem either. We're probably gonna have to deal with it sooner or later. I really don't mind him watching me squeeze one out. The inverse, however... <sighs> judging by his bloodshot eyes, incessant shaking, and uh, critical lung failure... My diagnosis is that he, in fact, it does, in fact, have a problem of some sort. This isn't your average everyday poop. This is advanced poop. Getting a little tired of all this shit talking going over here. Was it, I was just talking to myself. Need to be so ju no need to be so jumpy. Time for a more positive conversation now. We're all about the good vibes. I was trying to think of a more sh a funny shit jokes, but unfortunately his constant sounds and exaggerated moves distract me enough to draw me into a blank. Mind quitting it with the woodpecker impression for a moment? I can't concentrate. Please, all I want is to move this conversation in a more constructive direction. What's your favorite food? 
気が済んだか。僕は今集中していたいんだ。Like、shit, 何が好きなんだ I do love curry, but that might resemble shit a wee bit too much right now. <laughs> Can't hold in anymore, time to drop the package. <laughs> This isn't good, dude. This l e n d i n tears and a big brown stain on my carpet. He forcibly sucks the poop back inside and wants more like a vacuum without a bag. You know, this kind of brings to mind a scene from a novel I read one time. Schoolboy got stuffed in his own locker and ended up shitting himself because he couldn't get out. Just picture the first person's face when they discovered that scene. Same one, same could happen with the、uh, maid if she found out my room's, if she found out my room's maid and shit, the moment she entered. It's already bad, but I can't even begin to imagine what the smell would be like. I must have heard Son's cocoa missile from sullying my bedroom floor, but can, ne can neither free us from the hand、uh, handcuffs nor approach Areka about this. There's but one individual that can save us from the oncoming mudslide. I sneakily retrieve my phone while Son isn't looking. Just about never use my phone, so sending a message one hand it makes me, it takes a fair amount of time. Nevertheless, I managed to fire off an SOS to our single potential savior. It's content, we need help. I had unexpec had expected、uh, to wait a little bit before receiving a reply, but a response arrives nearly instantaneously. How surprising considering the sender. A s e r i o u s name appears on the screen Tsuki. The one person that is both of Lara standing that's on and capable of helping us. The only person whose contact info I have. I, expect, I expectantly, op expectantly open her message and read it. Don't care. I cut and dry response. Not expected, really. It's the answer I'd expect from、uh, Not unexpected, really. It's the answer I expect, I'd expect from her. Actually, why did I expect anything else from her? Quickly come up with a response. One shit covered room for Tsuki to clean. The brown bomb awaits. No matter how filthy the task, if it's cleaning related, I'll get a positive response. I press the send button. A few minutes later, her reply arrives. I knew she couldn't resist. Wait where you are. Uh huh. Did you think of something? I wonder. I wait, Tsuki's arrival. A few minutes pass. It's open, who is it? It's almost certainly Tsuki, but I decide to act as if I don't know that. Sure, come on in. <laughs> Sun raises his head and gives Suki a solitary glance. He drops his head back down immediately afterwards, however, as if he doesn't actually mind her being here all that much. Kaito-sama, Deka Ojo-sama ga oyobi desu. Cheers! Ah, fine, son, we better go. So, so da na. Ah, ie, Kaito-sama dake ni kite hoshi so desu. Kaito dake? Hai, skoshi pojin teki na koto da toka. Shikashi tejou ga. Dokure to shite. 数分間だけ外しても構わないと。鍵も預かってきました。All right then, should be fine since r e i k a gave the go ahead, right? もちろんだ。He looks so happy. What's the matter? その、どうやらここに向かう途中で鍵を落としてしまったようで。なんだとどれだけ間抜けなんだ、貴様 ?Cool it, bro. 大切な鍵を落とすなど。これだからこんなメイドは役に立たないんだも、申し訳ありませんすぐに探してまいりますあ、ah, forget about it I cannot lock it in no time bend the paper clip and extend it into a makeshift lockpick おい who cares about how uh, about uh, who cares how it gets open to rake us waiting for me I gotta hustle man そうだなしかし本当に開くのか it's not a bank、uh, a bank vault son I get to work on the vault as lock, and after spending a few minutes familiarizing myself with its structure, I managed to unlock it. Thank you, thank you very much. I step away from the sun. I'll be right back, so be on your best behavior. Oh, and Tsuki, make sure you look for that key. We、we'll、leave the room. Come on, you can drop the act now. About it all, dude. Real nice, neat, real nice idea. Still, your rep with Sun was already at an all time low. Cleanliness above all, huh? I didn't know such thing. Do your thing. 
Now my reinforcements have departed for, to, for the front line once more. I'll bum around for a bit. I'll give him like five, not nah, ten minutes or so. That should be enough. I walk back into my room and discover Sun with a shit-eating grin plastered on his face. Went through a lot of shit to unshack this, but now it's back to the uh, back to the stockade. これほど一日が長いと思ったのは久しぶりだ。My neighbor takes a seat next to me, head hung, back arched. Sun always puts so much effort into maintaining his appearance, but I suppose even he can't let loose. He can let loose every once in a while. When was the last time? So だな。最終試験の時だろうか。そうなんだ。何がなるほどだ。貴様は何もしなかっただろう。おかげで僕とカオルだけでクリアしたようなものだぞ。So like you two and needed anyone else to do everything either. Just stay back so as to not hinder you both, nothing else. 非協力的な要因だけでも、十分大きな痛手だった。だらな。お気楽をとくめ。どうしてまた貴様がベッドで寝ている ?Cause it's my bed. 今日は僕がそこで寝ると言っただろう。だら。ほら。だわな。断るな。約束を無下にするのは最低の行為だ。One of the worst oath breakers you ever met so far. <laughs> Kisama to you, yatsu a doko made! Wanna cuddle and sleep together? Kimochi no ari kuto yuna! Oh, hey now, watch where you're swinging! Rayleigh、really、managed to evade his fist. That been even a tiny bit slower, it would have been, would have connected. Yube wa mari nemurezu. Stores ga tamat teiru. Pretty sure I should be the one saying that. He has no way of knowing or barely a tenth of the sleep he did. 睡眠不足の僕はタチが悪いぞ。I never met anyone that gets this grumpy after missing nap time. どけ。床に座って寝ろ。An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. 時には制裁が必要なこともある。Plays one foot on the bed. それが今だ !Wow! It tears me out of my bed and with an appreciative. Reachable smug look on his face assumes my former position. You mother. Takes a sleeping mask out of his pocket and puts it on. Get that from Hope you're not planning to wake up ever. Can't imagine any further efforts on my part will bear fruit. Certainly I'm planning on doing this, but I decide to sleep on the floor. Man, it ain't easy to sleep like this. d a w n s on me that I made the sun do the same thing. Not a problem for me, though. I'd be bragging a little here, but I can sleep just about anywhere. Standing. Sitting. Even standing on my head. Nah, for real. <sighs> One day back in the training school. Nah, nah. Meet me, oh, you're going to. Nah, nah. 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 Yuki flips over the magazine, revealing various images of nude women. Let me wipe that drool up for you. Sure thing, step one to, is to stop staring at it. わたこっそり抜け出して買ってきた。Be careful about doing stuff like that. はあ、早く女とエッチしてみたいぜ。ゲスな言い方をするな。そうだ、もっと言ってやれ、ソン。男女の営みというものは、軽々しいものじゃないって。なんだよ、二人とも。聖徳太子ぶっちゃってさ。Main nuns are pretty erotic in their own right, aren't they? そうかな。なんか名前がエロくないから。ほら、見ろよ。エロ特集なんかもやってるぜ。As a photo with commentary below it, residing in redacted a contribution from Mr. S. 
First time I used the call girl. I was ner super nervous when I was waiting for her to arrive at the hotel. I just thought everything would fall into place after we talked for a bit. When she arrived, I just went with my gut and eventually she ended up asking if I would like to bathe with her. <laughs> <laughs> Many different sensibilities are on display here in our little group of friends. Uh, we read on. Once we got in the bath, she washed every part of my body. I suppose it was part of the standard service for paying customers. She washed my penis directly with her bare hands. I tried to, with my, all my might to keep myself from getting hard, but I failed and felt very embarrassed. Then she looked up to me and said, how about some head? And I managed to get out the words, sounds good, in reply. <laughs> Yuki stamps his feet in excitement. Thank for your wisdom, son. Uh, from now on, you shall be known as the Sex Chronicler. Unlikely. That's a rather peculiar coincidence. You don't have to keep looking, you know. Cool, just checking. Kaoru somewhat aggressively puts my concerns to rest. I knew that if I came, the session would be over, so I used the pleasure of the blowjob as inspiration to move things over to the bed. The call girl laid down next to me on the bed. She was naked, naturally. I told her I was gonna touch her and then climbed on top of her and started to feel up her breasts. They were warm to the touch and exceptionally soft. Don't come barking up my tree with that illegal shit. No, no, we don't. And yet, you're still drooling. You're, you're supposed to be one of them. Yo, Kaoru, are you popping a stiffy over there? Kaoru spins around, presenting his back. Words and the rock in your pocket are saying two different things. Son and Yuki are hunched forward with massive grins on their faces. Such simple creatures. Put the condom on just uh, before I put it in. Only did the deed a few times before, so she guided me in. Missionary doggy cowgirl, I just trusted my instincts about what position to take and went at it. Afterwards, I could feel release coming. She fl finished with her hand, and it felt amazing. After a short embrace, our one-night relationship came to an end barely an hour after she walked in the door. <laughs> Say as you shut down the number of the brothels. I don't really catch what he was mumbling at the end there, but it seems like he's in the same boat as you. I probably would, yeah. Seems pretty sad that I haven't joined him in lowering myself to a caveman. Do I gotta answer that? Hmph. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, son. Nanda! Sono Yui na mono iwa! Omae maji de dote janai! What difference does it make either way? Toko de atta nda? Teriheru! Be stupid! I can't exactly speak freely about my sexual history with these guys. 
But if you're really that hyped about it, just sneak out and book a session during our next vacation or something. <laughs> <laughs> Please, son, this isn't like you. At least hit him with the it's against the rules shtick. <laughs> See, these two are far too excited for this to, uh, about this to listen to reason. Couldn't have said it better myself. What's with the stink guy? Loose. Was I fucked girls before? Face said that many words. Woman,なら、そんなにいいのか。なあ、そう。俺、やっぱりカイトとカオルは毛包で血を掘り合ってると思うんだけど。残念だが、僕もそんな気がしてきた。そこ聞こえてるぞ。カオルズレイズゲイズ あ、お、右ストレートが顔面に。あの速さはさすがに避けられないな。蚊に刺されて死んでしまえ。ホーリーシッ、イジャドンホールバック。ブラドゥーズフロムアナウンス。なんかちょっとエロい。このスケベが。
Her hair was shoulder length and dyed brown. She worked. Uh, she looked to be just a year older or two, over twenty. Her pronunciation was totally normal, and her mannerisms were as Japanese as it gets. Her appearance was as well, and I was a very happy man indeed. This guy's a very happy man, no matter where the girls come from. Come on. Somehow I got a rather special sensation from feeling her breast. I felt like she was a very fragile piece of china. Leveraged everything I had learned up until that point and took the lead. She was so tight that I felt like I might finish then and there. But I know I could knew but I know I could persevere as long as it meant getting to embrace her for even a second longer. She said I could come, but I told her I didn't want to waste the rest of my time with her. She then told me I could finish as many times as I want until my hour is up. I was well aware that this wasn't allowed in the business, and that doing so would incur additional charges, but she had said it was okay, god damn it. I unleashed my seed and into her with reckless abandon. Oh god, now I have the image of cum oozing out of your dick in my mind. Please, god, no more, no more. He says as he stuffs a tissue down his pants. Jesus fucking Christ. You're all the same! After I came, she cleaned my still hard member like a human vacuum cleaner. Her gape and pussy exercised its magical powers of attraction, and soon I found my tongue tasting its charms. I continued and ultimately I finished her mouth two times. It even surprised me, but I found that I was ready for more even after that. When I was inside her aiming for my third encore, our time together was rapidly approaching its end. Our hips moved with speed and dexterity, our tongues entwined as we lapped a swapped saliva. But I was unable to reach peak excitement a third time. I'll call you again, I promise. Certainly, thank you. I'll be waiting. She gave me her obviously fake name, and we parted ways. I observed her retreating figure with a mixture of loneliness and trepidation. She was beautiful, bright, and cheerful. Dear typical girl next door. Her trade is pleasuring men she doesn't even know. I've been expecting pleasure, but I encounter that with an uneasy feeling in my heart. I wished to meet her a second time. Two months later, I called the same call girl company. Gave, her, gave them her name and asked to see her again. But they told me that she had quit a month earlier. They didn't know anything about it beyond that. She stopped to pursue something that would make her happy. Could she not handle the job anymore? If it's a Japanese girl you're looking for, we have other good ones. I refused the man's offer and hung up. <laughs> how is it? How is this moving exactly? Read the next sentence, genius. In the end, though, I felt that spending the night alone in the room would have been a waste. I called them again and took them up on their offer. This girl was super cute too. I actually finished twice during our session. and also took a few pictures of her and said, I've sent them an in along with the story. An arrow next to the text pointed to a photo. The photograph depicts a woman covered in bodily fluids and a man with large bags under his eyes lying next to each other. Just couldn't help himself, could he? <laughs> I really think they're giving this guy too much credit. But hey, that's just what I think. I knew sleeping with this guy would bring nothing but trouble. I leave my hazy recollection from last year and return to the sleep the real world. Something I start was starting to. Yeah, something I had already forgotten. I suppose that one wouldn't be shaken off so easily. I open my eyes and the memory recedes back into my consciousness. Even in just one minute the memory of the incident grows distant and foggy. Dilutes into my subconsciousness, soon becoming nothing but a hazy recollection of the distant past. <sighs> you sound asleep. Either because it's still really early, or because my bed is so damn comfy. Hey, there's a girl you have a crush on, right? Mm. <laughs> Whoa, he sleep confessed. I recall backwards as if I've been attacked. Uh, as if I've just been attacked. Two. Two. Someone else. Show with me. I a grim chill overtakes my body. I shouldn't have heard that. That was not meant for my ears. Let's just forget this ever happened. If it was just some random dude, it'd be whatever. But no way can I get it on with this one. Uh, you bet your dick with... Uh, uh, you beat your dick with uh, righty or a or all lefty. Alright, nice, nice. You're being so obedient. Good boy, there's a good boy. I continue to inter interrogate the unconscious son, but his answers become more and more unsure as time goes on. What's 12 plus 4? Jew. 
16. Nice, nice. He's losing it. Uh, who do you hate most and why? Maido. Do you... The maid. Must be Tsuki. No, he doesn't like her. But I feel kind of slighted that I'm not in the number one. Well, what's the reason? Huh? <laughs> Seems a sleeping beauty has arisen. That's just your imagination. Kinda wanted to play with him a little more. True, true. You're pitching a little tent down below the belt, by the way. Buddy, my condolences. That's sad. You can assist at all you want. Good luck finding someone that agrees. Sure thing. The small clank, our wrists are freed. I'm tired. So very tired. Oops. スクナクともこる記録は失せたようです。いや、あいつはいわばべ。うふん。私のアイディアも満ざらじゃなかったわね。サトケンベンテッドソーティングディニ。そうだったかしら。いいじゃない。なかなか楽しかったでしょ。そ
Uh, you can beat the level ever living shit out of me if you'd like, buddy boy, but then poor Reiko will be ground to a fine paste. <laughs> I'll let her go free tomorrow. <laughs> Taste of your own medicine, I say! <laughs> Having to be too men is the worst possible arrangement. It's significantly more amusing. Nah. Then you'll have to court martial me, General Nikaido, because I'm about to disobey a direct order. If nothing else, she knows how to play along. しかし、カイトと二人きりになってしまいますが。心配ないわ。もしもの時は蹴り上げるから。I'd like to see you try, you stupid cunt. I'll bash your fucking skull in. わかりました。And then there were two. 気持ち悪いこと言うな。So what are you gonna call Tsuki here for anyway? 専門家を呼んで外してもらう。以上。I see, that would solve the problem in its entirety, wouldn't it? But how arrogant can you be? How cr for Christ's sake, retrieve the lockpick from a pocket. Suppose it would save the both of us a lot of trouble compared to the alternative, and lock the handcuffs and slip them off. Get rid of these at some point. I say as I hand her the handcuffs. Why would I? Retard. In the end, she left my room not so long after, leaving the handcuffs with me. It's a day this was been. I always forget that I have to click again. My ardent passion melts away, all binding chains. Indeed, I'm a free spirit in every sense of the phrase. Me, the bodyguard to an upper-class lady. Please, such a mundane life does not simply does not suit me. I'm so free, in fact, that I'm currently out in the commercial district, alone. Naturally, I should be at the Nikita Mansion right now, taking my rest from a f school activities. But I just can't be a Rekha's babysitter forever. I rid myself of that deplorable life with the sheer force of my own willpower. FREEDOM! はい、これ、2匹の餌です。今時のボディーガードさんは、お嬢様方のパシ。いえ、お買い物もされるんですね。You're asking to be raped at this point. But back to reality. Why the fuck do I have to do this shit? 確か。前にあんたを連れてペットショップ行ったわよね。今日餌が来ることになってるから。引き取ってきて。私私は今忙しいの。As a pet owner, she should be the one going to get the food of her for animals and not have the other, have others do her job. In return for this, I'll make sure to surprise her by roasting one of her cheeses on a skewer and preparing it for dinner. When she asks why the meat tastes so funny, I'll reveal the truth about what she's eating, but she'll think twice before she's ordering me around ever again. Actually, I'd probably be assassinated by some PETA members before Rika does, so I'll discard this delusion idea. Both of you to assume the PETA members wouldn't be assassinating the cheetahs instead. <laughs> I'll stop somewhere else before going back home. Unfortunately, fortunately, this time they didn't give me another six... 60 kilogram box, but a normal sized plastic bag that I can carry with one hand just fine. I'm worried that it could be some sort of frozen meat that could thaw at some point, but I'll worry about that whenever it happens. But not now. There's quite a lot of people in front of the station around this time, damn. So many, in fact, that even if I'm walking on the edge of the street, I have to push aside people all the, all the time. Every time I push someone, they glare at me, but they never complain or anything. Guess I'm too good looking to get yelled at. <laughs> Huh? Then the crowd, I hear the shouting of a girl clearly angry at someone. Wouldn't have cared at all about it in a normal situation, but seeing the girl makes me stop in my tracks. He's wearing the academy uniform. 
そういうものには興味ありませんのそう言わないでさこっちで話そうよ話しなさい Where the hell did her bodyguard run off to? Push her way through the crowd and emerge right between the two guys and the girl. Uh, how about you don't pray on the way? Ah? Anta go so nanda yo! Uh, you should be able to tell by my uniform you have any business with my lady over here. Boy, bodyguard da ze! Whispers of one of the guys to the other <laughs> one. They then shove me aside and disappear into the crowd, visibly pissed off. One of the many examples of how the government reforms regarding crime are anything but useful. At least this ended without resorting to violence, so they weren't entirely retarded. Then again, they are somewhat stupid because they tried their luck with someone who's wearing the Reno uniform in the first place. I don't know what to do, but I don't know what to do. 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 I have a bad feeling about this. But it's too late now. I'm going to go to the movie today. 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 She literally resembles the exact image I had of a lady before meeting one. She couldn't have been more stereotypical. Got a phone? That's not something you should be boasting about. Yeah, I am. I then show her my student identification booklet. What do you mean? Say what? ですから、私にお供しなさい。To where? 映画館に決まってるじゃありませんの。Nice joke. 今度襲われれば、私、どんなひどい目に遭わされるか。I helped you before because I felt like it. Say as I turn around. ちょっと、本気ですの ?I am. I give her a cold shoulder and make my way home. ねえ、彼女、今暇してるのなんですのあなた。Why can't we have humans as politicians instead of apes? Kore kara ego mini maidimas no. Jo, what got to the tagrio? Kiko this, huh? So you nay, oh, eh? Katteni watakshi ni fure nai de kudasaimas? Ee kara, ee kara. Disappear unless you want me to kick out some of your teeth next. He turns around to look at me. It doesn't seem to be very happy about my kick. <laughs> He then runs away as if he was a snake crawling away from here. Stop acting tough when it is more than evident that you are scared to the bone right now, aren't you trembling? Alice got you back home? I observe our surroundings, doesn't seem like there's any sign of her bodyguards looking for her. Okay, I get it. I watched a freaking movie with you. What's that? You don't have to hold me up with me. Ah! All right! I give her a deserved Yakuza kick now, albeit with much less strength than the other guy before. What are you doing? You're a bad guy! The way you speak makes me want to puke. Shock? Instead of trying to mock me, just go to the fucking movies or not. Make up your mind. あなたのような野蛮人とご一緒したら私は松台まで恥を背負うことになってしまいますわ Then do whatever the fuck you want I'm definitely not coming back now I know very well that you'll keep getting approached by the other guys The woman that say that the girl instantly shows concern わかりましたわあなたで手を打って差し上げます Quit it with your bullshit already なんでですの服ですの I'm not gonna ask her to watch that gigantic ego first because it's part of her personality, but uh, can you do something about how you speak at least? Speak like a normal person would, and not like the Queen of England. If you don't, I'll leave. I'm asking for the impossible, aren't I? So, what do we want to do? Points at the tall building where the cinema is. 
Yep, that's cinema, no doubt. And you're okay with watching it without letting your bodyguards know? Are you even trying? <laughs> you sounded doubtful at the end. Was that supposed to be questioned? Just use your influence to change the screening times, no need to hurry. That's saying anything I yank one of her hair drills. <laughs> Listen closely. Normally in a movie, you're supposed to not bother the other people watching, meaning turning your phone off, don't legally illegally record it, and don't use your influence to change the screen again just because you can. <laughs> She apologized, so that's good enough for me. God damn what a spoiled little brat you are. She's given me one of those glances that clearly wants to express how displeased she is with me and how I'm being worse than her right now. This is the, probably the first time she's seen someone who's meaner than her, and since I don't give a shit what she thinks... Uh, 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 don't give a shit if she thinks she's being the good guy here, when in reality, she's just an asshole like me. It's like when robbers tend to avoid... Avoid murderers because they believe murderers are worse scum than they are, than what they really are. You doubt me or what? Like I tried my luck with a spoiled little shit like you. She'd be the type that if was she was left alone on a deserted island would choose death before trying to survive. Or more like she'd be the type to bring a bootlicker with her to do all the work in her instead. If she were staring in a cheap, starring in a cheap soap opera, she wouldn't even make a main character role. Drama? I was tired of myself. What movie did you want to watch? Berlin no Yane, the title of Love Romance. This. Wait, wasn't Berlin's Wall not Berlin's Roof? Couldn't even imagine this now. A film, a film called Berlin's Roof would have. Tono gata ni Love Romance wa likai deki nai kashira. It's not that. I'm not an expert with movies, but when it comes to romantic novels, I'm so no knowledgeable that they call me the erudite prince of romance. Never heard of the book in my life, but I'm still quite knowledgeable in general. Let's see, for example, you became yesterday's sun shower. Yeah, people in general might not give it the praise it deserves, but the way in how the story massively depicts what a deep romantic relationship is like is just nothing short of genius. I've read it like 20 times. First line is, Ah, you urban desert. Where have you gone? Bit by bit, we began to uncover we had much more in common than we both first anticipated. Hey! Nihei! Ah, sorry, sir. Kata men de onegashimasu. Omae mo? Nikata! Hey! Omae chido san. Sorry, sir. Kaeda ma kudasai. Tama! Omae mo? Tama ni! Dotchi mo kata men de. Kata i tama! I made a mistake. When I heard the title Berlin's Roof, my mind was already primed to expect certain qualities of the film's contents, but it turns out that the name is derived from the name of the young protagonist's ramen shop. So stupid. I say that, but I'm the type who needs to see stories through to the end, so I can't even force myself to sleep through this dumpster fire of a movie. <laughs> she's enthralled, though. She wanted to see this movie so much, the fact that she's it's bad isn't bothering her in the slightest, apparently. Thought we might have similar tastes, but knowing that she's pleased with this level of writing makes me question that. What the fuck is this? I get it. I understand where he's coming from. But you can't accept her, can you? Even if you want to. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is happening? I don't know why I'm watching this. I don't know why I'm 
ネギも紅生姜も油も関係ない私はあなたとあなたの作るラーメンが大好きなの飲むよ<笑> My neighbor's crying a river over there. If not else, if no one else was around, I'd probably be right there with her. What a truly profound work. Hideki quietly abandons the Donbu he loved so much. And he wholeheartedly accepts Nobuyo for who she is. Soba ni ite ho shi. Kuma mamire ni natte no. Kirai ni naranai. Atari mai da! Shiru ga makka ni natte no. Ah. Kaira ma bakka ni shite. Shiru ga naku natte no. Sonna kimi da kara koso. Boku a. Hideki! The two embrace. The camera pans away slowly. They really know how to do a real tear chakra. I normally prefer novels, but this movie made me gain hope in the medium of film, too. That was a breathtaking movie. I saw a movie in the film, but I didn't buy a book in the film. After we watched the movie, I forced her to come with me to a nearby bookstore. I wanted to find the book the movie was based on to experience the real thing in the flesh. I mean, in the paper. I bought both the prequel and the sequel of the story. I used the credit card to pay for them. The same one I used to pay for the animal feed before Reika gave it to me. She won't notice if I spent just a little on myself. The meat inside has started to defrost, judging by the terrible smell that's coming out of the bag. So I used three layers of plastic to cover it up. Uh, to, uh, <laughs> that way the smell won't come out. I direct my sight to where she's looking, and spotting a rather small guy wearing a suit running around the area. He's probably searching for her, otherwise he wouldn't look so desperate. I'll get going then. What is it now? We've been waiting for a long time, but we don't know each other's names. Oh, right. My name is Kyoka. If I'm going to be online, I'll be able to call you in the same name as a person. I'm Kaito. Don't ask your bodyguard who I am. Many people just think that I'm a problematic asshole. Tascani. So no yo this Sagashimasta yo kyoka sama. Sai So this He man no taishu to you know what tie that in. 今からなら三十分後の上映に間に合いますけど。さえから近寄らないでこのひどい。それに私もう映画は完走しましたの。え、お嬢様一人で？タッチスイッチ式の自動ドアをいつまでも理解できず故障してると社長を呼び出してクビにしたあのお嬢様が。あなたもクビになりたいの。耳メスもないです。ところであなた、私を探してたという割には、何やら手荷物が増えている様子ですけど。ちょ、ちょうど決算シールやってて、型は古いんですけど。Cry. <笑>ああ、僕の大切なフィギュアが。いつまでも人形をめでてなさい、ブタ。あなたもあなたで、何やってましたの、アンズ。あんた探すふりして、お菓子食べてた。首にされたくてなんか物腰が柔らかくて気持ち悪いない,いつも通り厳しいうるさいってばいやもうき切ったな今日かお嬢様ならともかくお前が僕を蹴るなよ死ねいっそ車にはねられて死ねいやライト男は皆私に服従し生きる生き物よねははひなら私に従わない男がいるとすればそれは一体どういうことなのかしらそんな男は存在しませんですああ僕のフィギュアの腕が折れてるそう存在しないはずですのよ何なのそれでどうして帰りが遅くなったの How many times do I have to tell you? I had a heat stroke, so I had to rest for a bit before I could come back. まだ春先よ。I'm most unlucky, am I not? キャップを譲って、熱中症だったとしても
クレジットから余計な出費が出てるのはどうしてかしら文献堂にてベルリンの屋根上下下調べれば簡単にわかるのよまだ白を切るって言うなら監視カメラで調べてもいいけど。Okay, I might recall having bought those two books on my way back. だいたいあんたは。I got a sermon about,、uh, for, of about an hour from her after that. Jeez, she shouted too loudly into my ears. I can feel Rika's voice reverberating inside of me even now. なさったんですか、huh? 何やらお怒りのようですので。I met the most egotistical woman I've ever met today. She was a Renault lady as well, so I couldn't ignore her, please. I then ran to Aya about everything that transpired today. So, was it Kyoka-san? Oh, yeah, that was her name. You know her? My condolences? 担任の先生より、教科さんが物事を決めることが多いです。きれいな人ですよね。ああ、いえ、なんでもありません。おやすみなさい。For that, I, that, before I could count to three, that so,、uh, sooner than I could count to three, or before I could count to three, the kind of mix of you know, I, I had already disappeared. Well, women are t- tiring in general. <laughs> Then again, men in general are in pain in the ass to deal with as well. Everyone's a fucking pain in the ass to deal with. Kaito san! Telebi game, しませんか A what now? Of all things you could propose, playing, a video ga- playing video games was not one of the things I would have expected. This won't end well. Just because I found out you play games the other day, it doesn't mean I like them. That happened? <laughs> そうなんですけど屋敷では皆さんに内緒ですし I feel like I feel like I accidentally skipped a scene How many single player games do you even have? <laughs> The reason this int- surprising attraction is occurring can be traced back a few days ago. I walked into Aya's room without knocking and discovered her playing a video game in the corner of her room. She tried to hide it, but it was too late. There are plenty of TVs in the mansion, but it seems video games are frowned upon. And that's all fine and dandy, but、uh, why do I gotta play with her? Okay, so I did not miss the scene. I go knock yourself out, play like five minutes of one RPG, then drop and repeat with this next hundred games. <laughs> Don't you have any games you can do PvP in? I, I, didn't, I didn't like that smug smile. Do not ever assume I'm one of you nerds. Party game? He's relentless. Fine, fine, I'll play with you for a bit. Yeah, you've worn me down. We head into her room. ここで魔王を召喚です。装備、サイバーブレード。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、Are you sure there's a game of chance? It sure feels like there's affinities and tech levels to worry about. I had taps on a controller. Ah, God, another soldier whose name's I for- name I forgot just got annihilated. That's it, prepare for all out war. The two silver cards I have remaining must be strong, so I play them on the field. 
killed. I summoned great hero Kazuo and warrior Kyotaro. It's a- this is a fucking great- the, the fucking the, the adventures of Kazuo again! <laughs> she muttered much to herself. <laughs> Stop with the acting. Shut up, you know exactly what you're gonna do. <laughs> is that a gold coin? My two loyal soldiers set out to bring his head before me. And I promptly beat him to a Oh, shut up! Throw my controller away in a fit of rage. You really enjoy bullying the weak this much? I'm just getting my ass handed to me every single game. I get that you're better than me, but that also means you're responsible for putting us on the fairest playing field possible. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> What? You better give me the full tutorial. Hold on, so she. Hi. So they were playing, and she didn't even tell him how it works. Ah, yeah, you whore. <laughs> okay, you're saying that, that, that was our. <laughs> and I don't know well, now I feel patronized. This <laughs> is more of a strategy game than a fighting game. Yeah, sure. I can see that I was blindly button matching for the majority of our first seven games. This time, however, I shall make good use of her teachings and crush her utterly. She will remember the name Kaito, not as her bodyguard, but as a battlefield commander who strikes fear to the hearts of men. She teaches me the functions of every button. They all do different things, I get it. Just apply the basics, there'll be a sense. Summon Koki. Aya plays Shinigami. Not like it matters who she picked any picks anyways. Koki fights with a yo-yo. I input a sim sim simple command and Koki springs to life with a yo-yo attack. To do, to do airborne attacks, you have to sprint ahead ju and jump. And then while in the air, any attacks automatically become airborne. If you're in a rough spot, you can start throwing out special attacks as a last-ditch effort. May the greater strategist win. The battle begins. To glory! The yo-yo explodes forth. Shinigami doesn't even block. A direct hit. While he's stunned, I... Wait a minute, he's not stunned at all. He's charging straight at Koki. Shinigami unleashes a fierce chomp. Fierce chop. Is Koki weak up close? Or is I just playing better? Before I can even collect my thoughts, I notice that I've been KO'd. What the fuck was that? How do your guy just walk straight through that? But the poise stat is a lie! Dark Souls 3 taught me that! <laughs> so even if I just hit you with an attack, you can strike back instantly. That's broken as hell. A pair of a round 2 kid. Choose Shinigami this time. With him, I'll just ignore her attacks and take her down with counters. As if a dude that wears sunglasses like those could ever hope to take me down. As soon as the battle start begins, I charge forward. Time to take her down. Muno has puny strikes halt Shinigami's movements. Then performs an upward punch, sending Shinigami into the air before proceeding uh, to launch a flurry of airborne blows. The combo counter can't keep up. Shinigami finally falls to the ground, but his life points reached zero a long time ago. But all I did was attack once. She's just been counterpicking me mercilessly with a goofy grin on her face the entire time. So cheap. <laughs> Though, if I think about it from another perspective, that just means I'm so good that she has to resort to her tactics. Can't allow my anger to cloud my path to victory. With a renewed faith in my abilities, I set off to that. Set off on that path. Character select screen. Set the controller down. You pick first. If her plan is to counter pick me every time, I'll just have to turn the tables on her. That'll render her entire. That'll render her entire plan moot. She won't have a way to leverage her extensive knowledge. She seems like an all—he seems like an all-round fighter. 
I always got a plan, so she must have went with him because there's nobody he's particularly weak against. Move the cursor all the way down and select Demon King Bararan. No time for regrets. Quickly advance to the stage select screen. Notice that this dude seemed pretty strong when he replayed that card game earlier. Feels like a boss. But five with five, as they say. Now the long way to battle. I lost before I even got to do anything. What the hell just happened? This character is so slow. Ah, play anymore! I threw the controller a second time that day. What for? Freika reaches inside of her bag and presents me with an item. Take from her while wondering what it could be. Question sheet. What do I need to give this to her now? And I'm just a delivery boy then. I'm not some doormat you can walk all over, you know. I'd like to push her on how her appearance is doormat like, but I decided to fight that battle another day to take the easy route. Somehow I feel like putting up a fight will lead uh, somehow I feel like putting up a fight will lead to me doing what she asks anyway. Anything else you want while I'm on my way? Head out uh, into the hallway. It's lunchtime, so there's a lot of students going back and forth. A number of the ladies and entourages are giving me the stink eye. Ever since I entered the school, I've been receiving more attention than I'm used to. It's not because of my strikingly handsome face either, it's because I treat the ladies differently than anyone else does. It's because I talk casually and crassly. That really is the main reason that they all stare me down. But I have no plans to change how I speak to people. I don't think I could even if I wanted to. Speaking politely would make me feel like I'm bootlicking. I got into a bootlicking raker. That's it's just better to be treated as a retard to move on. If I had to give another reason, I'd say that most of the people who have a problem with me aren't even the ladies themselves. Most of the male students hate my guts, but the majority of the ladies are so sheltered and spoiled that they aren't even aware of what's going on around them. Their heads are way too far up their own asses to notice me. Is this it? It's a regular classroom, just like any other. I sit the door open and step in. Normally, a student entering a classroom is no cause for concern. A student that isn't in that particular classroom entering it is a different case, however. The room's atmosphere changes slightly, and gossiping whispers break out there, here and there. Shrug it off and head over to Aya. You gotta speak to Aya. Kisama? Sun has placed himself between Aya and I, making his distrust of me clear. I've been told to give you this. I had the folded paper over there. Masaka Koibumi? The gossip kicks up a notch. Fuck it. It's obviously not a love letter. And how. And now everyone's gonna think that. So that. So no one can I can. So no one can I. So Aya looks at Sun with tears in her eyes. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you just called her ugly in front of her face like that, Sun. She actually starts crying. Well, what else could you have meant by it, son? Do tell. <laughs> he takes the paper from me, this gust written all over his face. <laughs> With pleasure. <laughs> that slimy, appalling voice, it could only be. He wasn't in this class, was he? As I'm assailed by pre premonitions most unpleasant he appears before me. Ah! I knew it. I look to Sun and try to sing him for help, but he makes it clear that I'm on my own. How on God's green earth do you arrive at that conclusion? Ah! An unholy shiver runs down my spine like millions of tiny ants le uh, ant legs using my back as a marathon venue. Do, uh, do yeah, I'm fine. So what I'm going to do. 
Yeah, I'm good. Oh, you joke. Stop it, you little shit. Stop. I didn't come to see you, understand? I'm leaving. Okumoto Raita, I've always hated talking to him. Matte, Hoshindana. What? Hoshite, Hitashibri, Saikai, Stanoni. I thought that I'd never catch up, and I'm not that nice. You say that like it's expected of me. Conversations with this guy literally subtract months from my lifespan. Son mentioned that he wanted to speak with you about something. Boku ni furuna. Mi Miyaga kun wa okuru to kowai nda yo. And I'm not. Shinju da shi. Ah! I stuff as much vitriolic, uh, vitriolic rage as I can into one roundhouse kick and promptly unleash it towards Raita's up abdomen. No. What the fuck? Bok, Sanjigen ni kiyomi wa nai kido. Kaito kun dake wa chotto bits kamo. Naka yoku na. Son, please don't leave me alone with him. Bok ha son na shimi o motte nai nda. Bok to saishin gata no figure no hanashi demo shiyou yo. You're kidding with me, right? No one's actually this much of a stereotypical nerd, right? People just act like that, so people will leave them alone, right? And you being an insufferable freak is just an act, right? <laughs> Takes a figure out of some girl, of some girl out of his pocket, and stares longingly into its eyes. It's the real deal. Ima sara genjis tohi shite mo osoi. Son na koto wa ichi nen mo mai ni wakatte ru koto daro. That stuff is just repulsive to me. Man, why won't he just leave me alone? Been trying to get this guy off my case since the training school days. That's right. Shoujo's the 話があったのが原因じゃなかったか I think you might be right. I was just praising the book, though.、Um, didn't know shit about its girly anime adaptation at the time. Hold on, hold on. That no Den no Shoujo Miku chan da yo. Pulls out another figurine and does his staring routine. Why do you carry those around exactly? Ningyo san desu ka? Ka chan ningyo no yo na mono deshou ka? Oh, he's about to get angry. Kacha ninyo to ishoni shinai de itada kitai. Kore wa bishoujo figure des. Otoko no roman ga tsumatta ninyo nan des. Kore ijo aya ojo sama ni chikazuku to yuru sanzo. Raita. If so much as touch her, Ra、uh, Son and I interpose ourselves between Aya and Raita like we're part of the same entourage. No ze kisama ga okuru. No particular reason. Yubi ippo fureta ra. お顔が赤くなってます。まさかライトの一周に。なあなあなあ、she's just reacting to a protective, a protective Kaito, and she is possibly a bit too much into it. Too into it, not too much into it. I can't talk. It's been three hours already. Give me a fucking break. すぐに医者を呼びますか。いいえ、私は大丈夫です。二人して怖い顔だよ。も、もしかしてこれに気がついたのかい。Pulls out yet another figure from his chest. じゃーん、セイラタンのフィギュアだよ。Son and I exchange glances then say, "He's not hurting anyone. He's just annoying." Might have I pulled this one's head off? ちょちょちょ冗談はやめてよ。あら、この人形。ではなくてフィギュアフィギュアですお嬢様フィフィギュア今の son and I staring him down right the one back down on this figurines one of those words that loses its meaning if you say it over and over 僕はすでに自律神経に異常をきたし始めている Wed カツオの大冒険ビクンシシシシシシ知ってるんですか？大衆が匂うから、それ以上あやお嬢様に近づくなと。だだだだ、だって今カズオの大冒険って。You mean that train wreck of a series？ 打作じゃない。打作ではありません。あ、あやお嬢様。I swear I saw this character in the game I and I played the other day. Time to beat the shit out of Raita. 
漫画やアニメが大好きなこの世から消滅しろ見える That the daughter's son's blow with an agility and incongruous with his round, rotund body. Honky de Boku o Konki Stane. Kiken Jimbus Niva Yosha Shinai. I take a Honky Nara Yosha Shinai. Boku that day. Sparks fly between the two bodyguards. Well, are you two gonna be go on a, Are you two gonna go at it right now? Korejo Ayao Josomani Kiken Go Yobu Mani Shimasu. Imano Boku at that day. Kaido Kun, Kuchi de BGMO. What? Say it's Nagar, but the singer Chan 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 Chadadadada Chadadada. He do a Onaja Yamacho Krikais. Yoku a Karanaga Kui. That was actually kind of adorable. Chama was a night. Like Chan Chan Chadadada. I had to raise his fist. Some blocks his blow head on. This classroom is weird. I lifelessly stare at the altercation, despite being almost caught in it myself. <sighs> They're both at the top, at least in terms of physical ability. I'd bring this context. Uh, I'd bring this contest to a close, though, anymore, and we'll be breaking some rules. <laughs> Neither of them seem to be have been hurt during the exchange. <laughs> Son collapses to his knees. You all right? <laughs> his mouth parts in agony like he's about to vomit blood everywhere. Aya too looks like she's having trouble standing her eyes fluttering. What's wrong with you two? I suddenly feel like I'm standing in a classroom, more like I'm inside a plague hospital. One by one, the students cry out, writhing in pain. It doesn't take long for me to become privy to the cause. Oh, I get it. A stench most foul and profane. Oh, yeah, you. You are, uh, let's work out has amplified his natural musk to uh, chemical weapon levels. Nobody would pair up with him back at the training school, so I would always end up taking one for the team. You stink. <laughs> It's normal for someone to not smell themselves as much, but uh, only you could be immune to the swamp bomb of a scent. Such is the severity. Trust me, I am. Leave the classroom now, or I will have you carried out on a stretcher. This is not a solution, however. It just makes, takes the problem and pushes it somewhere else. <laughs> Heading out into the hallway just gives the stench of a bigger hunting ground. <laughs> Calm down, first of all. Otherwise, you'll exude more poisonous gas. <laughs> Probably, yeah. I let Rata go back to the classroom. <laughs> Why are you back out here? Your client, you mean. He's terrified of the most pathetic and sickening way possible. Huh? The fuming lady makes demands of right as, uh... Is the, the, the fuming lady making demands of right is what I'm familiar with. You're... He dashes 10 meters away with a strange amount of zeal. Cries of pain erupt in the distance. Yeah, we met at the training school. Uh. Please stop speaking like that, it's annoying. Why, most certainly, my good lady, you need only ask! <laughs> <laughs> now we're both as tedious as each other. Aya's face draws up against the classroom door. What's up? She looks at us, but seems to be fixed on Kyoka, watching her every move. Ah, Aya-san! 
どうかしまして What are you doing? Joker presses her body up against me. 今は私とカイトで仲良く談笑中ですのよ。I just got it, just wanted to like, fuck are you doing? Just like knock her on the head. <laughs> we're in the middle of a what now? We just met by chance. Whether or not we're gonna be amicable remains to be seen. Strange, I don't. When was that? That movie was pretty great. I have first cloud and shadow retreats back into the classroom. What's up with her? You can say that. ミカイドレイカさんのボディーガード。いがめ。そうでしたの。へえ。キョーカ looks at me like someone who just yeah、uh, like someone just gave her a new toy. Seems we're out of time. ごきげんよ、カイト。ミカイドに恥をかかせる面白い機会を得ましたわ。カイトさん。あ。国道さんとお知り合いだったんですね。You're asking that too, huh? She asked me the same thing about you. So, so. She hangs her head and plods off. What's up with her? Oh, how'd you get up there? I look up at Son's rather impressive hiding spot, the ceiling. What are you? Fuck, that, that's a pretty spider guy. How's the guy that explains why you're on the ceiling? He's the one who's on the ceiling. Can you come down? Two! Kisama ga aya ojo sama ni tote gomi dozen demo. Nikaido no soyu bus to stewa, kangae de kudasat teru yoda. What? Mai ni mosko si wana kutta ka. Aya ojo sama to rival kanke ni aru ojo sama ga iruto. I feel as though you both have and have not said that. So rega, kokudo kyoka ojo sama da. Kantan ni eba, reka ojo sama to tae ojo sama no yona mono da na. もっとも、霊化お嬢様が軍を抜いているが。アライブルな。かつ、みんなが一緒に。カールのソンと、今ライトは、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが一緒に、みんなが Rather roundabout way of explaining it. Kisama ga kakera demo. Nikaido ni chuse shin o idai te iru nara. Kore ijo kokudo to kakawaru no a yame te okunda na. Motto mo. Kokudo ke ni nega iri tai to yu nara. Boku a egao de kisama o okuri dashte yaro. Pfft, defecting, please. I'm just a bodyguard, not some government agent. Like someone like me could even do that. Sore mo so da na. Kisama mo shiro. Sui ni minus o hasse sa ste iru. Like an eye on. Karada ni yasashiku nai minus da. Kyo mo zuibun to. Ano ato aya ojo sama wa chumoku wa abite ita. Ano yona gehin na otoko to shiri ai na no desu ka to na. You sure that weren't talking about you? You were right there with right the saying pussy over and over because you thought it was funny. Itte nai doro! Kata mo kunde nai! Hmm, that's where memory is going. Lei ni shirazu no gehin ogeretsu mumi mushu ga! Tasteless. It's all about what the sunset actually got to me. I don't care what he, that he called me tasteless. But it is true that I don't have any manners. I haven't even ever try, even tried to conduct myself in that sort of way. Manners, huh? For everyone around here, being courteous is just the order of the day. But it's not so simple for me. If the lack of something that's such a staple in this world actually seems to affect Aya and everyone else quite a bit. You may need to accept that fact. So tired. Now I'm good. I don't want to keep playing so bad that I'll drink those. So this is your name. Conan and Nambo, no hake, the non de tetsas de no game of a skin of curry, what does she cry this year? Ne. In this, such a caravacate, a cot, story that 
面白いですから。Jesus woman! Fine, fine! I grabbed the drink and take a swig. Happy now! レベルアップです。Hey, please pretend you care. How do ladies keep making me do this kind of shit? I see Son got stuck with an unexpectedly obtuse client as well. I know it's rich coming from me, but you gotta try and pay more attention to what's going on around you. Kaito san ni wa iemasen yo. I wonder where I can punch that won't leave a mark. She suddenly seems lonely. What does she think she is using her wiles at times like these? I don't think she's doing it intentionally. Come on, surely you have a friend or two. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't be hanging out here if you did. Resist the call of the void, it always gets better! <laughs> Christ, there's enough empty energy drink bottles laying around that this place might as well be a recycling factory. This some side effect. I checked the label, and sure enough, it says one bottle a day on it. Come on, girl, overdosing just doesn't make you rebound. Uh, overdosing's just gonna make you rebound. She collapses on the bed and writhes by holding her head. For long, she's newsing like a champ. Looks like I managed to avoid pulling an all-nighter. I tuck her in and make my way out of her room. What are you up so? Up, what are you up to so late at night? What's with the pan on your in your head? On your head at the kitchen knife and cell phone. This Did you think I was planning to do something to Aya? Then why do you have uh what one uh one uh, one zero pre-dialed on the phone? Eat this fist of fury! Ah! <laughs> we both took some damage in that exchange. That's so. That's so. I mean, like, sex and stuff? Whoosh, her knife just barely skirts past my nose. Whoa. Could've died! Through my nose, my finger, it doesn't seem like I've been nicked. Jeez, I felt my heart stop for a moment there. No, I but she's got her dad and sister here with her. For a mom, I'll leave that to your imagination. So she's always been alone, or huh? Clicky clicky. Said clicky clicky just now. Well, what did you say? I see now you're talking about television exclusive console based entertainment indeed. I'd rather have her not stab me to death, so I pussy out. <laughs> and no one else? So you could just between you and me, huh? That's pretty exciting. I'll allow it. Now I've got to take care of her, too. Taking care of Rick, I can stretch a man then. But both Nikaido sisters. Not really all that interested in playing games with her, but I guess I can keep her company every now and again. I can't sleep. That energy drink is really working its magic. Let me repeat myself. Teach me the etiquette thing you talked about. Okay, I th I, th I think the world is ending, so I am actually just gonna end the part here real quick. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>